What is happening, y'all? Welcome back. Stream numero dos. Spend some time with the baby. Oh, took a nap with baby. Um, but yeah, we're going to be doing a little bit of build crafting instead of the walkthrough prep. There's a couple things that I'd like to test out, so we're going to pull out the mule and get testing. Okay, so first things first. Hmm. Take stuff away. Okay, so for a hybrid build, what I'm going to be doing we are I've already tested a couple of these. Triple Rings of Light is mostly garbage. So we don't got to worry about that. The main thing here is going to be the sorceries. The the sorceries got some potential. Um meaning to test out rancor ancient death ghost flame is iffy that one's okay um test those out a little bit more and then we'll pull out all the lava spells for a better test with the new stave so that's good uh da -da 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 we want prince of death staff main weapon for this build is obviously Night and Flame. There's no alternative, really. I don't think there's a single other Int Faith dual scaling weapon in the game. But maybe a quick, quick one-hander. Let's see. Well, actually, hang on. What do you get? You get the straight sword moveset already. All right, we'll probably be fine with just that then. I think they could play through with that. If they're going to use that, I think they should have a shield, though. Let me see what our... Should we go for the Carrion Knights? Carrion Knights fully upgraded, maybe? Let's do that. How do you get the most amount of people in game for friendly PvP dueling? Uh, you can only have up to four people in a game at any given time. Okay, so that's our main. And we have that. And we have that. 18, 24, 24. We're going to way higher than that. 12, 12. Okay. Um, I might keep that. Let's see. This is probably going to want cast speed. Let me see which of these have the charge potential. I can fit them all on. Okay, now I look. Let's see, memorize spell. Oh, shit. Charging, charging, no charge. That uh, has charge, no charge. Repeatedly, repeatedly, charging, charging, no charge, no charge. Okay. So four of these spells can be charged. Um, so we'll, we'll try it out. Godfrey Icon might be worth it, and then we're probably going to want Graven... No, not Graven School. We want Graven Mass. Did I not go repick up Graven Mass? Golden Order Seal. It's not worth it. Because the... To be honest, the dual scaling incantations just... They suck. They're not good at all. Uh, I already looked into them and the damage was very... Very lackluster. Which is disappointing, but... I mean, it is what it is, you know. Because you have the one that, like, increases damage being taken by everybody. You have the one that 
tosses out rings of light, and then you have like a singular ring of light one. And I didn't get that one. That one's from like a quest, but uh, I mean, none of them are that good, to be honest. They're just all kind of like I don't know. I was testing some of this stuff the other day with Tox, and I was very disappointed in the dual scale incantations. I was also pretty disappointed in the fiery stuff, but I also wasn't scaled as high, so I'm hoping that those will get better with more scaling. There's a red wolf out here? I don't want the red wolf. I want the thing. Where's the thing? Alright, well, fuck it. It's better than getting the wolf. Oh. Where's this teleport me? Anything's better than fighting a red wolf. Teleports me straight over to the cave of the forlorn. Interesting. You know the mix of melee and magic? Not reliably. I mean, we're going to be working on a spell sword, which will have a couple spells that you could use, but. The thing is, to, so to really get your max damage out of magic, you need to go all the way up to 80. Like, if we're talking like you want your spells to be the damage dealer and do all the work for you, you need either 80 intelligence or you need 80 faith. And if you're doing that, you don't have very high weapon stats at all. You know, you're sacrificing stats that would make your weapons stronger to make your spells stronger. So because of that, there are spell sword variants where like you might have two or three melee oriented spells that work well, um, but you're not gonna be going heavy. You're gonna be hitting like a basic soft cap with int and a basic cap with strength. And that'll mainly be it. Hit point two, and then we run to point one. We're gonna need this thing to pump our sorceries so they're a bit more viable. Man, I ran right past it. y'all beat its ass Is there a best seal for high faith builds, or does it depend on the incantations? It depends on your faith. If you're going up to around 60, you want to use the uh, 
lightning one, the Raven School or whatever. If you are going all the way up to 80, you want to use the Erdtree Talisman. Are we still we're in combat again? I don't have the stats for this. How far is Lyriel, the golden capital? Um, I'd say right around the halfway point. By the time you're done that, you're probably like 60% through the game. Uh, so faith in, I'd probably want to hit the break point of 50 on each. And then so 12, 12 strength decks. Is it thy... no. no arcane. So we're going 50, 50. That's going to give us the best split scaling here. These are both staying at 12. Endurance, we're going only the 20. That's going to be real low. Oh man, this build's going to be starved for points. 50 and then some mine at 26. That uh, might be my best bet. That might be my. Unless I take my endurance way down to the fucking bottom, but I won't have any potential for gear. Um, let me see how bad it is. That's. Yeah, that's really bad. Um, what do I want with this build? That boosts cold. I could do the goofy ass crown for three int. So if we do the goofy crown for three int. Mm. Man, nothing is gonna look good with that fucking helm. Fucking oh god. Just have that running at you like what's up? What's up? You ready to go, bro? <laughs> Just, the fuck is that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, let's look at other helm choices. So this kills our stamina even more. This kills our HP and stamina, but gives us three. What do you boost? Increase intelligence three. You give a six. You increase intelligence and arcane. Intelligence and strength. That's definitely going on the warrior build. Um, strengthens glint stone. No. Strengthens thorn sorcery. Maybe. Try it out. Increase mind. Increase arcane. That's gonna give us more it, snow, nothing, nothing, nothing. Um, one faith. What's the Drake Knight look like? That looks that looks bad. Actually, you know what? Uh, Lord of Blood Gear. For, for a split caster, that could work. For a split caster, I might be able to get down with that. Or what about Lord of Blood's gloves? Alberic's gear. Does Alberic have some greaves? Oh, the pants you're not going to see, so I should go as thick as I can, poise wise.
Mm, let's just go with that for now. So I need to see how bad is my stamina. Do you think Dark Flame Ice build is possible? Looking to use God Slayer incantations with maybe Ice Astro 4, Ice Weapon? I mean, anything is possible. It just depends whether you, it's good or not, which... I mean, you're, you're kind of spreading yourself thin there. Because Dark Flame, Age Faith, and Ice is going to be sorcery. We got to see how, how much I can do here attack-wise. So, one... One, two, three... Oh no. The shield doesn't fit. I need a different shield. The shield would be fine on a spell sword, but here does not do it for me, man. I need I need a shield that's gonna go with my stuff, you know? Uh, let's pull out a bunch of shields and see. Oh maybe the mirror shield. Mirror shield could look good. I need 16. I'm not leveling strength. I'm having like really weird delays. That kind of works. Marred wooden, not bad. I mean, if I want a small shield, it's that. Or if I want a medium shield, I'm thinking silver mirror. It'll be up in about 12 hours. Same time they are every day. Episodes always go up at, uh, what is it, noon? Noon my time? And currently it's 11.14, so... Yeah, you got a while. Oh, what the fuck? What does the mirror shield have? No skill. I won't be able to have spell parries. Ugh, not sure how I feel about that. Um, though that might be good because you, you probably want to I guess you could keep a second shield just for spell parries <laughs> the Erd tree great shield that's more of a spell sword shield out. A scaling in, A scaling faith. That might make this build viable. First things first, let's go test some spells. How viable is spell swords in this game? Everything in this game is viable. How do you go about getting more stones? You turn in these things called ball bearings. Let me see if I have one on me. Uh, 
Look at this. These are, these are merchant ball bearings, but there's ball bearings that you can turn in, and then they will allow you to just buy stones from the merchants. So, what I did is when I beat the game, and I would stopped leveling, I had like 5 million runes. I just loaded up on a shit ton so that I could upgrade like 4 or 5 weapons instantly, and then I went to New Game Plus, and I beat New Game Plus and unlocked a bunch of stuff. And then I took that save and I backed it up. And now I have a save file that every time I drop that into my folder, I am sitting in the round table with five million runes and a fuckload of upgrades and five respects. And I'm ready to level shit up and try it out. Magma shot. Ugh, not, not that good. Not that good. That's, that's the, uh, fuck me. Let me, hang on, let's, we don't have Graven Mass on. I do just juked it. The lava kind of helps. You only make that save file on PlayStation? I'm on PC. You can do it on PlayStation, it's just a lot more burdensome. So we are at a 286 in can't scaling, which isn't outrageous, but it's not bad either. So we're getting 500 and then it's getting a little bit higher on the charge. So charging that makes it not too bad. What's Roiling heading for? Pretty good. That'll hurt. See, the thing with this spell is it's weird. Because you can, it, it can hurt. But the real use of this spell is you're supposed to put it on the ground like that. And then the idea is for them to get hurt by that explosion. And so the best use of it is you got to skill shot it like that. And have it blow up. And like, that's cool, but like, that almost never fucking works out, man. That almost never works out. Let's see, Ranker Call. I like that. It summons out fast. What's the damage? Show me the damage. Show me the damage. What is it hitting for? Not bad. It's cheap. It's cheap casting seems good. No, lava lava ain't that good. Does anyone have Gelmir's Fury? Cause I didn't get that spell on the mule, and I'm really curious if it's good or if it's just shit. Cause I would have to go to New Game Plus Plus to get it. Magma whip from patches looks so cool, but the weapon art is horrible. I So I was dueling earlier and I had somebody do some magma spell. I don't know what it is. It didn't, I don't know if it was a spell or a weapon art, but he just kind of touched the ground. And when he did, there was magma fucking all over the place. And he got me with some chip damage from it a couple times, but I don't know what spell it was. I like the little explosion. I help Indian gamers. That's that's good, Adam. I'm glad it all worked out.
Weapon art from Benel. Yeah, I don't know if I can get his shit this late. Because I think... Uh, I think you need to do his whole quest line... ...in Volcano Manor. To get his stuff. Burn Hall. Let's see. After pleading your allegiance, we'll move to the manor and be done as recusant. He'll be invaded. Um, beast champion, devourer, scepter. Fight off two invaders. You'll be rewarded with raging wolf set and Gelmir's fury. Make sure to complete his. Before defeating Rikard, as they'll disappear, he'll invade in crumbling Azure. See, because I've seen people use Gelmir's Fury, and Gelmir's Fury seems really kind of shit. Like, it doesn't seem. <sighs> Gelmir's Fury PvP Elden Ring. Um, I need to see. Does any can anybody come use Gelmir's Fury on me? Like, does anybody have it on PC and they can just come and attack me with it and see if it fucking hurts or not? Or if it's just a pile of trash? The sword stays and you can buy it the weapon arts. Where? It stays in Volcano Manor? Let's say some mac and cheese. It was tight. Nice to hear. You should use the spell Frenzy Flames. Frenzy Flames? What are you talking about? Game is impossible to do a 100% walkthrough. Well, I'm fucking doing it, Jeff, so, uh. Yeah. Oh, true. You're fucking here, bro. It's just as my nose. So I harbor you no ill will. Even he was pro. But any road, though we may, yet we hunted our own. And with everything in. Oh, great. I am the recused. We refused. Oh, great. I am the recused. We refused. Oh, I am the recusant. We. Well, hang on. Maybe his quest is still active. Can I still do it? Hang on. I might be able to still do this. That would be... Unless he's about to just dip out on me. Equip the L tree shield, eat poison, fun. No, stop, stop doing that, literally. If you were, if you were poisoning yourself and using the Erd tree shield, you're a shitty player. You're abusing a glitch. And I honestly hope you get banned from the game. That's not an intended interaction. It's not, that's not supposed to happen. And I can guarantee you, it will be patched. So stop using it. Even furthermore, if you're using the death version of it. You're going to disappear? Well, well, he disappears, he disappears. Let's go. Shivity boot. Learn skills. Eruption, maybe that was what we were seeing. What does he use this? This Vihander. What does it do? There's so all right. There's I'm gonna I'm gonna briefly talk about this. Uh, there is a there is a spell parry shield, and the idea is when you parry and a spell is hitting you, it shoots a blast of light out and hits him. It's the same thing that, it's the same thing that, that dude uses. Here, I'll, I'll show you. Dude will use it against me, hang on. Sacred Relic Sword L2 will be patched? There's nothing wrong with it. That's just, that's just normal. It's a final boss weapon. It's supposed to be broken strong.
See recovered chub, welcome to the show. I mean you've been one shotting people with it because people are fucking dumb and they don't roll through it. There's plenty of weapon arts that do that. Millennia's weapon art, Blasphemous Blade, Night and Flame, all of those weapons can one shot in PvP if somebody's dumb enough to take it to the face. So this is the Erd Tree Shield, what this guy's using. And see it does that. And when it hits, it shoots out a bunch of big fucking lasers, and the lasers hurt. Now... Man, the boss music gets so fucking loud in this game. Now the way it's supposed to work... ...is that a player would cast a spell at you, and then you use the shield to counter the spell, and send it back. That's how it's intended to be used. But for some reason right now, the shield's bugged, and it will counter any form of damage. So what players are doing is they're poisoning themselves, or they're setting themselves on fire, and then they're just hitting the shield. And so they're shooting out those lasers over and over and over again. It's very clearly an exploit. It's very clearly going to get patched, and that's why I'm saying if you're doing it, you're a fucking dickhead. Because you're literally abusing something that's not intentional. And I know you're not going to get punished for it, but I hope you do. So, anyway, I'll be right back. It's not even about taking the game seriously. I just, I don't like people that cheat. And it's, it's, it might as well be a cheat. Like, would you be happy if you were playing the game and somebody came in and just instant killed you using a cheat? No. You'd be like, the fuck? Like, fuck this guy. That's bullshit. That's what that is. It's, it is, a, a, you know, it's not supposed to happen. It's a cheat. Or technically it's an exploit, but it might as well be cheating. I got instant cursed in Lindell, and I got booted out of the game because inappropriate activity was detected. I thought I got banned, but I just relogged. Yeah, it's just it's just people. Uh, all I see on YouTube is get this now or do this to get OP early. Most of these people have no fucking idea what they're talking about. I wouldn't like any anything that's just clickbait about this game on YouTube. I would just ignore it. Because I know a ton of people that are trying to make videos, and none of them know what the fuck they're talking about. They don't even know what, what stat scaling is. They're like, yeah, this is the coolest- Like, there are so many fucking videos that are like, Rivers of Blood, most OP katana ever, super fucking good, you must find this sword. Rivers of Blood is literally broken right now, it doesn't work. The only thing good about Rivers of Blood is the weapon art. It, it literally doesn't get scaling. And for those that are like, well, hang on, what are you talking about? I use Rivers of Blood. I like- Rivers of Blood is- is cool. I like it. That blood art's good. And yeah, the blood art is good. But let me- let me show you something. Let me show you why Rivers of Blood is fucking stupid right now, and you shouldn't use it. If I go to my chest here, right? You see how every single weapon, it says attack power, and then there's values. Like 79 plus 6, 94 plus 22. Those additional values are the scaling. That's the damage that I get on that weapon for having the appropriate stats. So, for example, with Night and Flame, 
I have B scaling int, I have B scaling faith, D dex, D strength. So I get an extra 15 physical, I get an extra 98 magic, and I get an extra 98 fire. That's called scaling damage. Now you go on over to Rivers of Blood. Look at that. The number doesn't exist. There's no scaling on it. You just, you don't get scaling. No scaling. Uh, and it's not only that, there's a couple. This one you get scaling, and that's arcane. So it's not all arcane weapons that are broken. But a lot of the arcane weapons are broken. This one you get scaling on the Bloody Hellas. Uh, this one you get scaling. My, it's Curved Sword. But we get to Eleanor's Pole Blade. Super cool weapon art with Blood Blade Dance. Guess what? You don't get scaling. And then we go to Mogwin's Spear. It's like a heavy spear. No scaling. So, the point is, these three weapons, they are like a fraction of what they are capable of doing. Basically, there's no real, like, even though, you know, a better way to describe it would be, even though this is a katana, whether you're at 18 dexterity or you're at 80 dexterity, this is going to deal the same damage. Because right now, you just don't get any scaling on them. Which goes back to my point of all these people that are like, most OP weapon in the must use. Like, it's broken. They're fucking broken. They don't do anything. The broken ones are ones that have other than physical damage innately. What? No, no, they're. There's nothing special about them. They're they're broken. Hang on. Let me let me go. Let me go break this down. Because you don't understand what you're talking about. Okay. This has physical and fire. This has physical fire and magic. I have scaling. It has nothing to do with the fact that it's a split damage. That might be pure physical. Uh, what about Eleanor's? I don't think Eleanor's. I know the I know the Mogwins. Mogwins has fire. Eleanor's I think might be pure. Let's see. Eleanor's has fire as well. Um, but the point being, that's not, that's not the problem. That's not, it's not like, oh, they don't get scaling because they're split damage. This has holy and it has scaling. Uh, let's see. Let's see. What's another one? This has fire. Physical fire. Plenty of scaling there. Magic. It has scaling. Holy. It has scaling. Magic. It has scaling. You know, like that's, that's not the reason. This has lightning and it has scaling. You know. Moonveil, magic physical. It has nothing to do with the fact that it's part fire. The, the, the items... Yeah, exactly. If it's an arcane weapon that has split damage, it's currently broken. Uh, anyway, uh, Rancor Call, what are you hitting for? I wish the range was a little bit longer on it. 622. It's pretty cheap for 622. 690 for 771. I mean, the a ancient death rancor seems really easy to just spam out. Like, fuck you. Fuck you. But it doesn't seem like it's doing frostbite. Which sucks. Because I know when the death birds use this spell, they do frostbite. Rikard's Rancor is situational, but... That can deal a lot of damage. You just gotta run around and have them... You gotta keep them in it. That did... 
That did all right. It's just so hard, man, because you gotta, you gotta get up and then you gotta slam it. That's a long cast. Did that frostbite him? I think that actually got a frostbite proc at the end there. I'm not sure, I'm really unsure on explosive ghost flame because it's not often as a mage that I'm like, yeah, and I'm jumping in to do this. Like, I'm getting booped trying to use this fucking thing. It does hit hard, but like, look, all right, so consider this. Uh, we're looking at 24 versus 36. So I could do probably a ranker call. I can do a ranker call and an ancient for the same cost as explosive. It can do frostbite though. It just takes a long fucking time. But for the same cost, I could just... And that hit real fast. I really need, hang on, I really need to, like, I need to spam that. Yeah, that's with Radigan's icon on. Yeah, and it's a long, it's a long recovery. Like watch, this is, all right, so I'm gonna spam roll right now. Look how fucking long I was locked in place, bro. Like, what? what is gonna sit there and let me stand still for 10 seconds? That's, I can't. I can't. It's that, you can't, no. I gotta turn it down. I gotta turn it down. It's just too... Way too big of a fucking opening. Yeah, you're gonna get punished. You're gonna absolutely get punished. It's like your character takes a fucking nap. If that move, that move would honestly, it would need to do double the damage it's doing to be considered viable. Especially, I mean, considering this build split scaling, it can do shit like this. You know, moon, like everyone talks about night and flame. Night and flame is gonna be fucking insane with this build. We're getting 2,400 on that. And then the AOE option. Well, that was a critical. <laughs> like, Night and Flame is gonna fuck up. Oh, Night and Flame is like your daily driver with this build. It's gonna do the majority of your damage. 2,300 there. 2,700 there. Yeah, Night and Flame is what we need. Five hundred on magma shots, not terrible. If you charge magma shot, magma shot is worth it only if it's charged, I would say. Oh, Adula's Moonblade's fucking amazing. Seven seventeen. Well, maybe it's not worth it charged. Stay by the explosion. Try and get me. So, so that does 1300 and then we might get another 200 on ticks. I like Briars of Punishment. I think this is the one that goes to the target. I just like the flavor of that spell. So we're seeing 620 on that, and that's with the hat that boosts the damage. 
Let's take off the damage boosting hat and see what we get. Oh, they hit, they get hit harder. 584. Someone do math while I'm casting this. Six twenty divided by five eighty four. Six percent buff. Yeah. That deals a lot of stagger. Ancient Death Rancor is definitely our bread and butter. And it looks like it would be a pain in the dick to try and dodge. So the other thing is if you wanted to work in the incantations, you'd have to hot swap between your seals. Let's try Briars of Sin. I think I'm just going to get stomped on using it. Yeah, dude. If That's the thing that gets me. Is if Rancor, if Ancient and Rancor, if they dealt Frost buildup, it would be fucking good. It would be really good. Let's try Briars, though. We haven't tried Briars yet. I don't think Briars is going to be a viable option, but we'll test it. My dude's going to kill me. Don't they inflict death? They don't. They don't. Uh, the only things I know of in the game that inflict death... Eclipse Shoulder Art and Fire's Deadly Sin is, is literally... It's an exploit. And people who use it deserve to get banned. Already been through this. Uh, there are three things in the game that inflict death. Eclipse Shoulder... Uh, where's it at? Death Lightning, which is here. And then, uh, Fia's Mist does death as well. You can pull it out. You can pull it out and try it. Which is useless in PvE, but I'm curious on the range of it. What was the soul thing you just used? That's part of my sword. This ain't even a spell blade. This is a, this is a hybrid caster. The spell blade is going to be a lot tankier and use bigger weapons. Call the gang. I don't know, man. That seems a lot like I'm going to get myself killed trying to use it. I have thorns! You better stay away! I'll get you. I mean, it hurts, but like, that's so fucking risky, man. Spellblade is gonna be like Enchanted Knight. Yeah, think Enchanted Knight, but it had sex with guts. It's gonna be fucking good. Dark Moon Greatsword for Spellblade. Uh, there's the two... The two go-to weapons I'm considering for the Spellblade build would be either this or this guy. Royal Greatsword is pretty nice. I like it. Um, 
There's also, for a shorthand option, you got this. This gets really good strength scaling. So I'm going to test them all and see. I'll probably try, because I don't think I'd go past 38 int on a spell blade. So we'll see. So, spells that are good. Uh, you cost 24. That's not worth it. That's not worth it. I would use Ancient Death Rancor any day of the fucking week uh, over the other one. So, Ancient Death and Regular Rancor. Maybe this. The bomb is funny, but it's fucking situational. Strength Int build. We're probably going to be prototyping one of those tonight as well. Is there any way we can get that Knight and Flame Sword? You're not going to have the stats to use it early game. That's the problem. Because it requires 24 Int, 24 Faith, so... If you want to use it early game, literally all of your fucking stats early game are going straight to that spell. Or straight to that weapon, which I don't recommend doing. Because you won't have any health. Do I have the little bell? I don't think Ranker Call has death. Let me find the bell. I don't think I have it. Mm. Spirit Vapor, Wraiths, many Wraiths. Hang on, there's another one, the Spirit Calling Bell. We can go grab that real fast. Any info on that rat person? He's not worth doing anything with. So let me, I'll briefly explain the rat person. The rat person had his tailoring tools stolen. Now, if you give the rat person the tailoring tools that you find, he goes, I'll fix your armor and I'll be your tailor for free. You gave me my golden needle. And then you're like, okay, cool. But the thing is, tailoring is extremely minimal in this game. I mean, it's literally taking, what tailoring does is it takes a cape on your armor and it removes that cape. That's it, that's all tailoring is. Take a cape and remove it. And so it's already very fucking limited. And you're like, well, hey, I mean, that's that's cool though. I like tailoring. But the problem is that this motherfucker moves around. So let's say you're playing and you're like, you know what? I think I want to take my cape off. Instead of instead of just taking your cape off, instead of just being able to be like, okay, and cape is off. You need to go, you know how like there's like a few sites where you can go to upgrade weapons and it's like, hey, that's where the blacksmith is at, that makes sense. Imagine if there was a site that you had to go to just to take the cape off your armor. And you're like, okay, where's, let me see, oh, he's over here. Okay, let me go over there and take my cape off. Fuck that. That's annoying. And the other thing, <laughs> probably the, the funnier thing, is that you can just do it yourself. It just costs 500 runes. I would rather pay 500 runes any day of the week to change my fashion over traveling to one specific spot just to let some dude do it. It's a waste of time. So basically it's just easier to, to do it yourself. Lightning Ram? Yeah, that shit's funny. I want to see what Rancor versus Ancient Rancor is hitting death damage wise. You, come here. I'm speaking to you. So 771 and a stagger. Six ninety three. So six ninety three most of the time. More when we get a stagger. God damn, this thing's just fucking it's like I said sit down, bitch. Now we're gonna try and do the same thing, but with just regular ranker call. Six hundred.
So this one doesn't stagger. Oh, it, there we go. So that was a normal... That, that took a lot of casts. That was a lot of casts to get a single stagger off. Larval tiers are limited, but you get like 10, so it's not a concern. This thing's kind of cool, but it just takes too long to get off, I think. Don't even look at me. So Ancient Death Rancor seems pretty good. Well, the other one was trying to headshot too. Bjorn, I don't know you. Don't call me by my name, all right? You can call me Cowboy or CB or Fighting. But I'm gonna, I don't, I don't personally know you. It's just fucking weird, you know? Let's see what this can do. Yeah, that ain't getting used. That's dookie. Death mist. Ow, stay away from me, bro. So we gotta use this. This will give us some distance. It's coming for you. If we're gonna do the whole people are gonna start spamming Bill. Just letting y'all know, I'm gonna ban you. I'll ban you. I don't give a fuck why. You're you're a letter person. Don't make me do it. I'll ban your ass without a second thought, dude. Damn, so that miss does get pretty fucking big. If you have somebody in an enclosed room. They're, they're gonna be panic rolling out of that, and while they are. Rancor is gonna be coming out. Alright, so that's definitely situational, but I can see this, like, people are, people are getting you. You can use that just to give yourself some spacing to get a heal off in PvP. Because nobody wants to be hit by a thousand damage magma. Yeah, I wasn't sure if because it's considered like a a PvE battle, maybe death might work, so I was just testing it. It is slow though, but I could see I could see value in that for PvP. Like That's a pretty big fucking cloud. I mean, that that's covering a lot of space and it's gonna make people panic. And if nothing else, it obscures visibility. So you could like cast that out, cast the cloud, and then go into a different spell while they can't see what you're doing. And they're like, oh, what is this fire thing chasing me around? What the fuck? Yeah, it's about, it's about area denial. That's the value in it. You found a continuation of Kenneth? Not yet. I have not. Friend of mine pointing me in your direction, I'm struggling with Sekiro, and he got me that sweet plat. 
looking more in the future. Oh, don't worry, there'll be plenty. Exactly. Like, that's the thing. In an invasion, that thing comes out and people are like, fuck, 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 fuck. They're just, they're like, because the thing is, people see death and they, they panic roll instantly. That is a, that is a panic roll. Like, fuck, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. Um, this just seems like it's straight superior. There's more stagger on it. The AOE is bigger, so I like that. These seem like the only four of the hybrid spells that are worthwhile, I feel. And this one being only PvP. How do we feel? So, I don't know. I don't know how we feel about these. I need to do some duels. Who wants to duel? Who wants to try and duel this build? We're gonna, we're gonna do some duels. We're gonna do some duels right now. If you put on your password as PvP2 and you drop a sign here, I will fight you. Now is the time. Let's, let's, we're gonna see if you can dodge all of my death bullshit. PvP2, PC. Come and test it. Let's see what happens, baby. Oh, does this build not have it? Motherfucker. I don't have it. Hang on. I gotta go get a spell. Ugh, I gotta get a fucking tear. Where's it at? It's, uh, no, no. There we go. I mean, we're gonna- we're gonna pick up other spells. We're gonna use other spells as well. Um... Cause right now, I'm- I'm more concerned with, like, of the hybrid spells- Oh, What- which of the hybrid spells work? Is Terra Magicus? Terra Magicus affects all magic damage, so yes. We gotta go kill this thing, though. Gotta kill this so I can get infinite casts for 10 seconds. Mimic. Let's see what. Let's see what me and the mimic, me and my mimic, spamming the fucking ancient death rancor, staggering, right chords rancor. Stay away, you dumb bitch. Infinite FB, this would actually be pretty nutty. Die. PvP2, any caps? No, it doesn't matter. We're using a password. What is when is Dark Souls 2 Cowboys Overpower PvP build? Uh it would be called Moonvale, and I'm not doing it. I've grown past that, alright. It's like telling somebody that you can't no, no. That would be that's 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 going in reverse. We don't want that. Finger remedy. Faith syrup. That sounds yummy. There's a calculator you can find online. I am curious. So for this force throw, real fast, I just want you to like, I'm going to briefly cast Fia's Mist. Just let me know how, like, I want to know how, how is the buildup? That's it. Like, I'm just gonna do a quick cast, obviously roll out of it. But let me know. Is this like, oh fuck, or is it like, eh, it doesn't, it's not a threat. I need to know. Is it a threat, or is it not a threat, okay? Whoever, where's, where's Faith Syrup? Faith Syrup, I need to see you in chat. Just so I, so I'm not, you know. I don't want you to think like I'm just trying to instant kill you.
All right, how how was that? How did that feel? Was that like fuck? I need to run for my life, or was it pointless? Already half bar. That, okay, that so that's that's a threat. Half a bar of death that fast? That's a threat. All right, here let's let's go down here. Wait, oh fuck, that guy's alive. All right, let's fight up here because I don't want to. I don't want the tree sentinel to beat my ass mid fight. Go. Where'd you go? Come back. That's a sheep. That's not you. Seems like it like the most annoying fucking mage to fight against ever. Cause they're just doing this shit non-stop and you're like, when do I get to fucking do anything? And then one of these come out? Yeah, this seems fucking obnoxious, bro. <laughs> like he can't approach me! Wow. Wow. Like, I don't think... Yeah, I don't- I don't think you can do anything but panic roll against that. Cause like, a normal- a normal mage... Like, real- real fast. Should I- well, let me- I'll just keep trying it. I don't think people are gonna be able to panic roll out of that. There's too much... Yeah, it's just like, it's infinite amounts of bullshit on the screen. You're like, what the fuck do we even do against this? Yeah, you know, yeah, that's the- Don is exactly right. The only thing you could do is fucking hope the environment is gonna protect you. Because that's a lot of bullshit. Like, I would probably just leave. I would- I would just- uh, I'm out. Fuck this guy. I'm not putting up with that shit. I'm fucking gone. Dude, Dragon, watch- watch- this is- so this is- Dragon, this is a hybrid caster. Are you ready to see some real fucking cancer? So he even has the parry shield. Let's see what he can do. So we're gonna death. We're gonna pop our flask. Rancor is out. Papa Smurf, we're gonna just send him home since he's abusing things. You can leave. Goodbye. Don't come back. We've already talked about that. If you're gonna do that shit, you can leave. If you if you need to cheat to win, you can just leave. I'm not gonna. You're not coming back anymore. We're trying to test shit, and you're coming in with a big fucking pile of shit on your face and running around like, look at me, I'm stinky, look at me. No, no, no one wants you here, bro. Fuck off. What did he do wrong? He's- he's using the fucking- the- the light yourself on fire shield counter thing. That's fucking stupid. Only clowns do that. Literal fucking clown. So he's got the right idea. You gotta be extremely aggressive against this. Oh, that's gonna take too long.
All right. So the biggest threat to this. Biggest threat seems like it's going to be just rushdowns. Rushdowns are definitely a threat. So we need. See, I, I'm surprised. Was how was who who was that? Where where are you at in chat? Is she getting Discord? You wanna you wanna join Discord? Okay, I'll get in Discord just for you, baby. Was that you, Ryan? Who was that? Where were you? I want to know. Did did Fia's mist feel like a threat there? I need to get rid of this helm too. This helm's not helping. Let me let me see. Is there anything else that helps death sorceries? Is there a hat for death sorceries? So you think you have something here, do you? I think I might, man. It's a lot of bullshit. It's a lot of bullshit, but that dude fucking embarrassed you, so I don't I don't know. Um I think you're misunderstanding what embarrassing is. We're literally like prototyping a build. Oh, okay. Well. That's like, you, you sound, Dragon, you sound like yeah. the dude that goes up to a kid that's learning to play a guitar for the first time, and you're like, look at you, you fucking idiot. Dave Grohl plays yeah. this song fine. You're fucking embarrassing. Obviously, the point well, here... Dave Grohl just showed up and beat your ass. So well, good saying. fucking thing, because I am the I'm the dude that's learning how to play guitar, so... You know, well, the, the one thing that you gotta do is, if you're gonna do this, you gotta you gotta get some space right off the bat. That's a big deal. I know. To, I I, I understand right that. We're trying to we're we're trying to test shit out right now. We're trying to figure out, you know, what is the spacing on certain spells? What is the spacing on certain things? How do we, you know, because we have mist. I'm trying to figure out. Mist is my spacing. This cast mm -hmm. fee is mist. Nobody wants to walk into a fucking death mist. Well, the death mist is... It doesn't build up very quickly. Just oh. so you're aware. It's its not about it building up quickly. It's about it keeping them the fuck away. Well, yeah, but if it's not a threat, then it's going to go away. It's a lot of bullshit. Somebody that's really aggressive can definitely get on top of it. You're also stuck casting there too. So I think it's like four frost stomp. Oh, wow, I died. Yeah. Because what I'm thinking is I might want to work Night and Flame into the mix here. Like. Fia's mist, and then a blast from Night and Flame comes out of nowhere and hits somebody. I would be careful with that, because a lot of people have learned the timing in that one. Well, the point is the mist. The mist is a visual. Right. Block. You're, you're hoping. Yeah. You're hoping. You're hoping that they won't see it. Right. I, I yeah. get. I get that. But it's a thought. Can you hide in the mist? Yeah. That's that's the game plan. Is if somebody starts a rush down, we just get in the mist. Or well, I don't know if I want to. I'm gonna instead of mist, I'm gonna try using. Roiling magma this time. She probably also kill the Spell parried any of this while you stand in there casting? Or is it... No, no one has spell parried yet. Damn, that hits you for a lot. More thunderbolts. Yeah, those thunderbolts, they'll hurt, man. <laughs> he got you. Man. You gotta be careful with the thunderbolt. Oh, shit. Laggy time! Yeah, so the best way is just rushdowns. Rushdowns can 
can definitely get this. I need a way to generate more space. I don't think... I don't know. I'm debating on roiling magma, because you need to throw it down. Mm. Most of that was easy to dodge, but the fire got me. Well, and the other issue is... When we're talking about, like, like meta tactics here, a lot of stuff is going to be, like, quick step and bloodhound step. They're just going to go right through all of that. Well, but this, I mean, none of my, my builds are for meta duels. Well, uh, right. But the people who will be invading you, who will be watching those people and learning those tactics and... I already brought what do you, what, what, what do you mean, what do you mean the build, so what's the build for then? It's for, for players. You see, you have this mindset where the whole fucking world is just meta builds. You are Dragon, you're literally 1% of the player base. I hope you know that. You yeah, are not, like you're not, it's gonna be no, it's people. not, no, it's fucking not. This game is gonna last way longer than that. You and I both right. know that. And it's I'm not, three, uh, but okay, I was there for it. I'm, I'm not, this I was build there, is not, I was there okay. for three, I don't know, I'm yeah, just yeah, I know, this build is not meant to look, cater I know, to I, you. Look, I know you, I, I get that, I'm not saying it's catering to me, I'm telling you that right now, you're going to be in the situation where people are watching the PvP shit if they want to do PvP, and a lot of them know that Big Step and Bloodhound Step just goes through fucking everything. And they're gonna do shit like that, I, I don't know what you want, like, I, I, you say weird things sometimes. I'm saying, I know people are going to Bloodhound Step and all kinds of other bullshit. But not that many people are going to do that. So the Rancord explosions are kind of working a little bit. This person's trying to bloody slash. Oh, oh yeah. Probably dead, yeah. So, Roiling Magma could definitely be a threat, because people don't expect that late explosion. This guy sounds like a blast at parties. That's Dragon! <laughs> it's definitely me, a blast at parties. No, the problem is, is that he likes... Cowboy likes to do PvP. I like to do but he wants casual to, PvP. He wants to do casual PvP, and then he does, like, build setups and tells people about it. But then, seems, like, confused when people go, yeah, okay, that's great. But uh, when I run into, like, actual players, I get my ass kicked, so what should I do about that? Uh, you fucking abandon all sense of spells and run, like, three of the weapons that are viable for duels and go down to level 100. Right. For spacing, try rejection into magma. Rejection is... F uh. See, I really... I don't want to... I don't want to work incantations, and I know I have the faith for incantations... But he's got a switch too. He's gonna be. There's gonna be dudes. Yeah, I'd have to. I'd have to be switching from. I'd have to be switching from my staff to a talisman, and then that gets fucking annoying. Right. But I could work in something like like black flame ritual. That's spacing. Noble presence is better than rejection. I mean, wave of gold is better than all of them. So. Does anybody have that Gelmir's fire thing? Because I, I I want somebody to use that so I can see if that's good. Because if that's good, I can work around that. What about the God Slayer explosion? Pushes people away. Yeah, no, that's that's what people were just talking about. See, the thing is, there's if there was a catalyst that could cast bass sorceries and incantations, that'd be one thing. But there isn't. When there were one of those in two, I remember. Yeah, there was one of those in two, and there were one of those in three. Uh, there was there was one in three. Oh, I, oh, I can cast down this multiple times. That's kind of fun. Oh god, blood loss. Eh. No, I'm gonna roll off the cliff. Ah, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I'm dead here. Oh, I'm fucked. Oh, I'm bleeding already. <laughs> Man. Yeah, I'm dead. Bleed. Ordova's greatsword sucks. Not every PvP situation is a meta duel. Most of PvP is two players with a lot of random shit going on. Exactly! And this is it like... Won't, it won't be soon. I think this game's gonna last a lot longer than you're giving it credit for. 
This game has Skyrim <laughs> levels of content. Look how fucking long Skyrim lasted. Well, sure, but the duelist scene is gonna be totally different. Than well, good thing that here. this isn't the fucking duelist scene. This is the I'm fun casual you know, scene. No, you're making you're making builds for shit. I don't. I guess I'm confused as to what's going on because you know I've spent the last eight years in the Souls community using completely different terminology than you. Yeah, because and you, apparently you're, it's just... you're in the meta. You're in the magical meta scene. Yeah, the magical meta scene of like everybody that you know also is known in this game. Oh, the other the other one percent of all the players. Yes, all the, yeah. all the players who are going to be playing when you guys are long you know gone. Hang so on, we're hang watching. On. We're going to just you know. all right. You know what? Out of curiosity, hang on. We're going to do a poll in chat. We're going to do a poll in oh chat. Oh my god! Let's I see. can't believe how it. Two thousand people enjoy who disagree PvP? with me that watch gonna, no, I'm just, fighting I'm just cowboy. Curious. I'm just I can't curious. believe how it. How do you enjoy PvP? People who ask how to get on your horse are going to tell us what, 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 what PvP is about? Fantastic. We're going to... We're gonna and you're laughing because you know I'm right. Because you're, you're, because you're not. You're wrong. Yeah, just, you know, four games, but whatever. Four games. People who make meta can't make use of non-meta gear because they're bad? Oh, oh, oh. You guys are the motherfuckers. Right, let's see. You, you, everybody in this chat who says this shit, you're the reason why they made it where you have to have a summon to invade somebody. You're the reason why. Because you're, you're, the, guys, you're the guys that DC on people. All right, Fortnite. I'm gonna get you with 120 this. 120 Medias versus nah, I like cool shit. You can use cool shit in duels. You can't. You're smart about it. You can't. I think that's hilarious. So PvP will always evolve in the meta. Yes, it will. Thank you. It's a good thing that's not what we care about. We're here to throw out death spells and be fucking cool and do builds that can do more than just meta pvp duelist sweat lords like this dude do to the only reason that i can yeah sorry that we want to be good at something when we're playing with our friends and care i'm so sorry that we don't let you i'm so sorry that we want to be good at something i'm you're right i should get i should give you guys games Drama? And that's not drama. Cowboy and I are friends. We're friends. This is just easy baits for me, and I just don't give a shit. Wait, is this person? Are you running and healing? Get out! Get out! Get out! I can't believe you can you can finger people like that. Get the fuck out! That's two people. By the way, I see you running, running and fucking chugging health in this, or using that that fucking shield bullshit. You're gone. I find out who you are in chat, you're banned. Don't do that shit. Don't do that shit. I have the Gelmir Fury spell. Alright, Ryan, what is your take? Ryan, you put your sign, like, over here. Put your sign by the stairs. And I want you to cast that shit on me, and I'm gonna see how much damage it does. If I'm just, like, stuck in your magma. I just like to have fun, so I care less about strict meta. You can still have fun, and even have duels. You can still do that. Yeah, but the thing is, the strict meta... Alright, so, at, at, at your idea of the meta, the, the 100, 120... Um, My that's not, that's not... We uh, don't know what the meta is for this game yet. Stop putting words in my mouth. Alright, what, what is your idea of the meta? My idea of, like, there's, there is no, like... Y there are people who take PvP seriously, and then there are people who are like... I want to look cool while doing some magic and then complain afterwards when someone rushes them down with dual Uchi blood crap and die. Like, that's there's a whole difference. You keep saying meta over and over again like it means anything. What I'm talking about is the community of people who give a shit and who are going to be sticking around in this game six months after most of you are long gone. Who yeah. are talking over what is tech? What are setup parries? Are there animation? And cancels, guess what? And all guess this what? Stuff. Guess what? None of the shit I'm doing right now 
matters is, to that. Is right? relevant like, to your audience. Yeah. So why does it matter yeah, if yeah. if me if me and because the eighty seven percent of people advice on what's going to work for your major? But guy, I don't give mage, a though. fuck about well, then, the thirteen percent of tryhards out there. I don't care. Right, that's not fine. my audience. It's then not my audience. I, that's fine. Then that's fine. That's not yeah. the people I want to fight against. It's not the people I'm gonna run into. If I do fifty duels, and out of those fifty duels, fucking four people are are dash attack, Horfrost stop spamming, whatever. I'll lose those four. If it means right. the rest of the duels are people crazy, like I, I would rather deal with fucking three Moonvale spammers that uh -huh. don't know what they're doing hey. over fucking people spamming Bloodhound step and just dashing around for twenty minutes. Right, and that's fine. All right. That's cool. Hit me with that Gelmir Fury. We're having a conversation, chat. Nobody's mad. That Not doesn't seem man. that doesn't seem that good. All right, go on and try casting it again. Cast it again. I'm just gonna like casually walk backwards. What is he doing? Oh, lava. <laughs> yeah, that, that smell fucking sucks. That smell. Like that works <laughs> that, no, that smell does not work well. The meta is designed to be common builds. If your build is unique, then it hasn't. It is unexpected, and therefore you have a better chance of winning. I think there are far too many variables to make that effect. But whatever you guys want to do, it's it's your sixty dollar game, and you can enjoy the PvP. But it's the fury to. of Galmir. It's the fury of disappointment. Is more like it. That was. I'm glad I didn't get that spell. God, I would have been so upset if I burned through New Game Plus to get that, just to see it do that. Oh. The meta is the friends we made along the way. It might as well be, since anybody just says what they want. I get what he's saying. A lot of people aren't here for longevity. It's a shiny new toy. They'll get bored once they beat all the bosses. It's also very trendy right now, and that's true. But at the same time, the like you know the people that are the people that are looking at Elden Ring as a fighting game that want to do this long term, you know what what the general community decides to stop leveling at and doing with these crazy builds doesn't fucking matter. Oh, true. I didn't. I wasn't even talking about levels before. I was trying to like, find re realistically, out what works for your mage shit. If, if, I, if I pull Dragon in to fight this mage thing, he's just gonna fucking space me and then he's gonna poke me until I'm dead. Yeah. And that's just how, how it is. Most people yeah. that, that all they do is PvP, that's how it is. Yeah. But, you know, that's that's how it's gonna be. Now, if, right. I, if, I, if I jump in an invasion, or if I, better yet, if I'm playing with Toxin and an invader comes in, and then I'm like, Ancient Death Rancor, and I'm just spamming spirits at some invader and just chasing him down while this guy's like, what the fuck is this guy doing? That's, that's fun. That's what this is. Well, they did invade you, so... And we don't know what the uh, matchmaking stretches are at the moment, but... I don't know, that, that, that feels like... That's, that's definitely not a PvP I can enjoy, but I see some merit in it. But I'm dead. Not really, not really, I would really, really enjoy that. You invade and kill two people and only get a rune arc. Yeah, rune arcs, they don't, they don't even matter for invaders. They don't mean anything. I sold a stack of 99 today. I sold a stack of 99 rune arcs because my character started having too many. And I had to, I had to get rid of them. Guess what? They're only 200 souls apiece. I don't, I don't, I don't think that's sustainable. <laughs> I don't think it's very good. Oh, oh! So ancient death rancor could potentially stagger you into getting caught by a flame wave. You could if you time it right. You could do any any of those spells if you yeah, time it right. That that looked good. Uh, how was the- how was the Fia's miss there, dude who I was fighting? Cause it looked like you were standing in that fucker for about five seconds. Did that... Did that feel like a threat? Cause the other thing- so I need spacing, but Roiling Magma actually seems like a decent spacing tool. So if I throw that out, and I'm just like, I'm gonna hang out by this, and somebody tries to rush in and attack, and then a big fucking explosion goes off, and they take a bunch of damage... That works. Fia's mist is more just like a stay away, I'll death you. 
I'll, I'll you can do also it. get rune arcs from co-oping there, Manly. You don't have to do invasions. I was the dueler. How did you? How was the death build up? Did the death build up feel like a threat, or was it more like, oh, this fucking thing? Let me just walk away. The mist got you to half. That's what he said. Man, it felt like he was in that mist for a long time too. I told you that death mist not very good. I've, I've run into that. I'm gonna try using mist more. I mean, it'd be good if I can catch somebody in, like, an enclosed room, but out here in the open, I just don't think Mist's gonna work. Is this pure sorcery? Yeah, the- the split-scaling incantations are balls. They're balls. The dragon head's pretty good. Not Placid Sex, the other one. The, uh... What do you- what do you need to use? The Rotten Breath? Cause that one's really good. Uh, that's- that's more an arcane build thing. Damn. Keep people on their toes and put them in. Oh. Look who has swords! Come here! Gotcha, syrupy. You have more than 40 hours? Really, David? Really? He's asking, do you... Do I have more from 40 hours? I'm, I would. I'm, I would just open his videos right now and then take a look. That's what I would do. Dave. The fact that I have four million. I got, like, <laughs> I got half that on one character right now. Yeah, yeah. Two to two days ago. <laughs> I was cracking up the other day when you were like, oh, how many rune arcs do you got or whatever? And I was like, oh, I got about um, 237. You're like, oh, I got, I got 42 or some <laughs> shit like that. Like, <laughs> yeah, man, level There's level nine PVP. Pretty good. Level nine, pretty good. <laughs> we're going to, I'm going to pull out, I'm going to pull out Fundamentalist and Frenzy Frame. We're going to take both of those up just to see what incantations look like with this. Oh, how many hours do I have total? I don't know. All I know is, so this save has been my backup save, so it's permanently at 130 hours. Let me see, let's go to Steam. Steam is the most accurate indicator of my playtime. And that's not including PS5 playtime, which is probably around 20 hours as well. Um... I can, come on, work. Tox, do you want to come duel my bullshit spell build? Sure. PvP 2, by the very first bonfire. Steam is being a fucking bitch right now. Why don't you go to Ag Hill North? Why there specifically? I don't know. It's just closer. I see more people there. Um, Steam. It's a bigger... PvP two. Yeah. yeah. Number two. Okay. We're just casuals using PvP all of a sudden. Huh? I can't fucking hang on. Let me see. I can't. My Steam's just like a blank page. It's not fucking loading. Let me try looking at the web version of Steam. No, I don't want to install Steam. I want to log in. Show me my playtime. Might be able to see your playtime on your Steam profile. That's what. Well, that's what I'm trying to do. My fucking Steam profile. Nothing on Steam. Here we go. Profile's working. Elden Ring. Ha! Two hundred and thirty-nine hours. Yeah. Ha! Oh, it's unhealthy. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit. It's, it's an unhealthy amount of time. Hundred. Plus, the, plus the what? The twenty on. Uh, so I'm Google. two. I'm over two fifty at this point. Jesus. Fuck. It's a I'm bit. I'm at 162 myself. <laughs> oh wait, no, I'm at 170. I feel bad that like I got 130 hours at the moment, and so maybe, this gets up to 345. That's, that's pretty maybe good. 16 of that is PVE. The rest of it's PVP. <laughs> 16 is playing against. AI, the rest yeah. is just making other people suffer. <laughs> yeah. See, the thing is, with, with so with where my scaling is at, at 345, I could actually use pretty much any incantation, and it would do decent damage, but my thing is, like, this is a split build. I really want to use the split stuff. It's just a lot of the right. split stuff's not fucking good. I think yeah. I'm missing one split incantation. Let me look it up. You're at 345 with, like, split faith in? Yeah. Jesus. Wait, what's your level right now? 150. Three? No, he's talking about oh. encant scaling. Oh, okay. I thought, sorry, I spaced out there uh, for a moment. Uh, about 
Okay, where's these spells? It's faith, faith, faith. Where's the end scam right, spell? Down. All right, I'm just scrolling through, and it's been out for three weeks. Well, and he had it a, a while uh, before, had it like it came a week and a half him. early, and a week and a half early. So he's got a week and a half on all of us. So blah 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 blah. Where the fuck are they? They're far down the list. Man, I want to use the tree sentinel armor. It's just fucking heavy. So order healing alleviates death blight. That's pointless. Uh, there's discus of light. Order's blade gives you holy damage. Litany of There's proper one that death. Like everything. You said you have more than 200 hours to resolve that. Mutable content. shield. It's literally all over his channel, friend Jackie. Literally. Law of ca causality. That might do something. Radigan's rings of light. Law of regression. Heals all ailments and dispels all effects. Oh, Purchase from in. Brother Corrin <laughs> after he. What is this? Oh, uh, somebody, somebody else here is yanking down signs. I don't know who that is. So He's I might... either lagging or invulnerable. Can't figure out which. Oh, nope, in lagging. <laughs> Died instantly. <laughs> nice. Well, with 2,000 people watching, there's going to be some asshats that are trying to screw up what y'all are doing. Yeah. It's going to be that. Given by Gideon Offnir after beating Mog Lord of Blood and asking about the cocoon. You were right, Dragon. Melina's katana is the I win button. It can be. Well, trigger after receiving I mean, five hits. Only damage. Using it brain dead is stupid, but using it in like a. Almost like a panic button actually works out pretty well, Mark. Yeah. I have noticed. All of the major kills I've seen with Melina's uh, art have been like. The the uh, the host and their summons get way too aggro into like the invader's face as so the invader goes nuts. That's that's normally where it works out. Golden Opening up with it is a bad so. idea. Using it defensively is a good idea. From the Erd Tree Sanctuary site, hang on. Landell Royal Capital. Oh, I know where to get this. I think. Hang on. I get a spell real quick. Tox. <laughs> Has anybody used a uh, law of... So there's two two spells I'm considering. Litany of Proper Death, which I think only hurts undead. And then law... It does more damage to undead, but it's like kind of meh against non-undead targets. So I know it's like, a, it's like a short wave almost, like a cone. Yeah. What about the law... Law of Regression is pretty good. What about law of... Casuality. It says that it retaliates. Causality? Yeah, retaliates after receiving hits. That one I haven't used, but I think Gideon uses it in his boss fight. Like I don't I remember don't ever getting hit by a, you know, because it sounds like you get a hit. Like if it's like you get hit five times and Wrath of God goes off, that sounds fucking great. Yeah. But I don't think that that's what it is. Explodey potions. <laughs> dude, the oh, speaking of the explodey potions, I got a fucking build for you to fight. Oh, dude, this. Oh, I don't know. Dragon, have you have you premiered your thing yet? Premiered? I don't know. What are we doing? I'm gonna get oh, this thing. You, you mean the build? Yeah, the Double build. barrel pink eye. <laughs> is that what you named the, it? The that's what mine is called. You could or you know the 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 scum spur. I like um, some. I like scum spur. Either scum spur or, or I don't know, man. Seathwater stabber sounds pretty fun. That that's, I'm sorry. I look. I know you think I'm a big buzzkill, but I think that that's it's crap. I think it's a crap name. I'm so, I think that sucks. Oh no! Thank you, Falketh. Just just throwing that out there. I think that's. I think double barrel pink eye is way funnier. I'm not naming something double barrel pink eye. I'm putting. Well, you're not barrel. any fun. All right. <laughs> Listen. That's a good name. Listen. Remember, and I. And this is a quick tip to everybody here. The dumber your name is in Souls, the better you are at PvP. 100% oh, character. That is yes. the truth. That is the, the absolute truth. If someone comes in and their name is like Shadow Wolf 71, that dude sucks. But if the pee pee poo poo man invades you, you're dead. You're a dead man. Pee pee poo poo man is going to annihilate you. That's just how it is. I promise you. That is a fact. Generally pretty true. <laughs> pee pee poo poo man. Pee pee poo poo man going to fuck you up. Oh, what very well. Heresy, all things. <laughs> very well. Heresy, Heresy all, all things, things can be conjoined. 
you kill him. Where's this dude moved to? I never found his ass. Okay, stop. I see Brother Corwin. Where is this? Where is this even on the map? It's near the Second Church of America. Uh, it's like he's like your, your, your guy's name is Dixie Normus. That's yeah. So you you're already ascending mm -hmm. to the higher level of PvP with a name like that. But but you can do better. Dixie Normus is pretty good. That's that's pretty good. B Bend over is is higher than that. Pretty I think. good. What about Dingus Bingus? Sorry. All right. If he's that's naked, it's good. over. There are only two types of naked people in this game. There's the naked type of person who's gonna uh, instantly kill you because he knows what he's doing. And then there's the naked type of person that's running around with the Eclipse Shotel because he likes the flavor of people shitting in his mouth and he gets off on it. I can't... I can't Most wait difficult fight catch. in PvP I ever had in Dark Souls 2 was against a guy just wearing pants and using a bastard sword. No. Nope. man was on he's another tough. plane of existence. No, he's tough, he's tough, dude. Tough. Where the fuck is Brother Corwin? Everyone's like, Brother Corwin moves out here. I don't see Brother Corwin anywhere out here. What the fuck? I'm the edgy one, and I used Royal Remains armor with Moonvale Katana. I'm absolute trash. Yeah, you are. 100%. Is anyone, you are definitely is, is, the kind of guy I make fun of when I invade. I know this guy moves to the Altus Plateau, but I don't know where the fuck he is. And the wiki map's like, yeah, he's just right there. But, yeah, good luck following the fucking wiki map. Blow me one Kenobi is pretty good. I do like that. He's solid. Like the Dex Defender? That's that's pretty good too, actually. Looks that's, like he that's, should that's be a classic. right here. That's a classic. According to the wiki map, he's he's literally like here. Like I should I should be on top of him, but I don't see this. Talked to you at round table and was like, I need to go. Yeah. You should do a dim live stream. No, I'm at the gym to lift out. Like I'm trying to lift fucking weights, not just entertain people. Um, but yeah, to answer your question, cowboy, the build and its corresponding video will be out tomorrow. And a brief, a brief explanation video into a six or not six, a three-hour live stream. So, so should, should, should I not show it off yet? I'm gonna keep it, keep Which, it under wraps. You do whatever you do, whatever you want. Mine's the different ver Mine's the shithead version. Have you spoken to the, I haven't told him. Level nine version. I have a level nine character <laughs> that is so killing people left and right. Level nine. Just absolutely annihilating people, and not using a glitch to do it. Excuse By the way, me, I want you guys to understand that I don't do I don't do glitch tech. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking for incantation monk. Where's incantation monk? Does he move over to like Sunface or whatever? Gold mask. He might. I know he does, but I never told him I met my met Goldface. So does he just auto move over there? I don't know. I've never done that quest line. He's on the road, He's standing there. against the wall. Well, we're on the fucking road, and I'm sure shit not seeing this dude. I think he moved. Yeah, because that's where we get the map. All right, well let me go. Maybe he's over at Goldface. They, they said they said he's right next to the map point. Uh, he sure yeah, shit dude, ain't that there. Dude ain't there. <laughs> ain't there. Uh, Goldface is like over there, I think. Let's go to Goldface. See if he's over there. He's he's just south of the Road of Iniquity side path. It's like on that bridge. I mean, he he, uh, he 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 only has one spell that I'm curious about, and it's just a single disc of light versus three discs of light. So I'm like, I might as well see. Oh, you want to hear uh, something kind of funny? You know Redubia's skill thing, or yeah. the weapon art? Yeah. That can that can that gets spell parried. <laughs> really? Yep, I get spell parried. I mean it's a projectile. For, uh, Makes sense. Mm -hmm. Seems like every projectile in the game that isn't like an arrow can Wait, be spell you parried. You can't spell parry a uh, moonveil, can you? Yes you can. Sure can. Sure can. Can you spell parry it with tree sentinel shield? Um, don't know about that, probably though. You can spell parry it with carrion. 
Gold mask is usually right here, right? Oh, I see something. Is that a ball bearing, maybe? Uh, it should be at the end of the bridge. No, that's dragon wound grease. Not there, then I have no is this is this the on. right bridge? Is there a different bridge? Yeah, no, he's normally like right there. Um, it's less FP crossed. Oh, disc of light. It isn't good. I did testing for that myself. <laughs> okay, well, that's all we were looking for was disc of light. All right, Tox, let's go north of Gil, and I'll show you some stuff, and we'll see if you think it's dangerous or not. Let's see it. Dude, he moved. I mean, if it's if it's just disc of light, it doesn't matter. If disc of light is shit, then it's shit. I don't, you know. If the move is shit, the move is shit. Yo, Dragon, what's the all-time best, easiest PvP build currently? I don't know about easiest, uh, but I know what is the most effective at the moment. But that depends on whether we're talking high or low level. It's Cowboy's actually, Dex Build Master doesn't. of Blades, currently in the uh, one of the top PvP builds in the game. Incredibly popular. It's hard it's to cool go how, with it. It's cool how like he he can lie through his teeth in front of everybody. Uh, did you see my kills with my Millennia Katana? Saw people walk into the weapon art. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that's. Uh, you right. mean I masterfully dodged them and they got caught by the weapon art? Mm, yes. That's different. I don't think you want me to criticize the gameplay. I think I'm just going to answer the question. Right now, it is dual katana, uh, bloodhound step. Which is, is, is in my dex build. Rolling attacks, fam. That's in my time. dex build. In it? Yeah, that's, that's like, part of, that's one of the things I show off, yeah. Are you bloodhound stepping? Yes. I'm bloodhound wow, stepping you're, with you're, double. You're getting up there. I, getting I up even there. I even gave another shout out to PvP Master Dropout Dragon. Oh, did you? I did. I said this one was another, taught to another, me by, by another PvP. another another one. You're just gonna another blow shot. up. Incoming incoming million subs. It did. Oh yeah, one million subs to Dragon. Let's go check what Dragon's been doing on his channel. Let's go see the one million. Wow, one million has a lot less zeros than I remember having. Shit. Well, you know, hey, it's. Everybody changes their age when they want to, so we can change that number value. All day, every day. I do have that. The, what did you uh, that that Perry shit you saw today? What did you think of that? Perry saw shit. That. You know, oh, Perry shit. Wait, that was pretty sick. Wasn't my, it? Uh, my game crashed. I'm restarting. I, I assumed it's all kind of blending together. Which which Perry? You talking about the one from last night? No, the one that I sent you this today. Invasion Perry's are the best in Elden Ring. I fucking. It doesn't matter. You can pay attention to another. I might not have. I don't know if I saw that one. That's fine. I didn't watch a Dex video either. <laughs> <laughs> well, fuck you then. Hey, you want to show it? You want to see it right now? No, I'm casting spells right now. Uh -huh. Seeing if they're any good or if they're just dookie. Triple rings of light. Right, That's terrible. Down. That's really bad. Radigan rings of light. This move needs to fucking hurt people. Shit doesn't do any damage. <laughs> oh wow. Okay, well that one did a thousand damage. That looks like it could hurt. Question is if it if it hey, actually hits or if people are just gonna be like no and just walk past it. Who is putting down their sign? Like That's not Toxic Lad. If your name is not Toxic Lad. You saw it, made you laugh it's pretty hard. That you could play. jump over? Probably. All right, first thing, Tox, I'm gonna, I'm gonna... I want you to tell me how threatening this feels. I'll do a bunch of... a couple things. Okay. All right, so first somebody comes in. Uh, uh, does, that, does that feel threatening at all? I guess that's enough. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, rings of light! So you can just walk away from it. What if it hits you? You gotta you got let it hit you first. Is it me or does Elden yeah. Stars suck? Elden, Elden Stars, Stars is, is the Elden Stars are fucking annoying. I know that. <laughs> I couldn't tell you if they're really good or not. No, no, I can't block it when it returns to. They're fucking annoying. What does it do if you don't block it? Oh god. Much. Oh god, that's sad. Fat boy! 
Alright, now I'll cast the real shit. You ready? Uh, hold on. Come back! I want to show you my spells. Oh, I can dodge. Them, apparently. I like what you got going on there, Talk. I like that. What, in terms of build or fashion? Uh, build. I'm not a big fan of it. The laser, that's not gonna work out. So you can spell parry the laser. You got poked. How did all that bullshit feel? Uh, it felt really easy to dodge. Damn. When I was actually attempting to dodge it. I showed you my spells. Please respond. <laughs> I like that one. Yeah, so it definitely feels more of like an invasion slash anti-invader build. Yeah, I mean, it was, the, saw, the, the, it was the, down the, to like a quarter health when I actually started dodging, and I was just panic rolling back and forth, and nothing was hitting me. Yeah, but that's the thing. That's the whole point of this. Is it's. The idea is to keep you panic rolling. Uh, the mist that you just ran through. Well, you you need something to follow up with, cause like. Yeah, that's and that basically will, just like. The, so just the mist was the forever. mist was the mist a problem at all? Or was it just. No. Okay. <laughs> not, not even slightly. So I like I ran, I ran through shit. it and I got maybe fifteen percent death plate build up. Okay. All right, let's do another one. I'm gonna... And get that, the, the death thing. I mean, it's a good idea, but it just uh, the, it's the death build up so low, it's not scary. Yeah. I know there was like a stat I could pump that would build it up more. Because the, the real combo here, I think, is using Roiling Magma to generate space, and then you spam them down with Ancient Death Rancor. But I think I need some other. Because we can, we can work some other spells into the mix pretty easily. Cause this, I like, this thing, this isn't meant to hit you, this is just meant to hit the ground. And just keep you away. Stay away from the... Yeah, but not much. So, so here's the difference. So if it hits you directly, you know, okay. But if it, like, if you're near this thing... Yeah, comes... I, I felt it, I felt it earlier. <laughs> oh, you can charge it. I can charge it, yeah, and it'll delay the explosion and it'll be bigger. I like the combo of this guy just kind of chasing you around and keeping you on your toes. It really does not stop me from walking up the smack in the face, though. Well, it's not really a duelist build as much as a, like, fuck you, I'm casting lots of spells build. Right. You're, it seems like you're playing a, uh, basically a mage hunter right now. Leave my mage alone! Magic is pretty fucking good in game, so everybody loves Oh, magic. I got them all, you <laughs> fucked idiot! <laughs> Night and flame. <laughs> oh, man. Mist would be good in confined spaces. It would, but I feel like... I mean, out of all the shit we've done, I can think of what maybe... The fuck? Two fights we've had in confined spaces. Goddamn car going off in the background. So, all right. So, all right. Big, big decision time. What do y'all think? Did we just drop? I mean, I have 345 and can't scaling is good. Are there encants I want to work into this, or do I just want to stick with one catalyst and focused on sorceries? Because it's kind of fucking annoying jumping back and forth. But I mean, that's the flexibility. Uh, 
I don't know. I don't know if there's like sorceries are kind of dog shit in PvP. I mean, those moons would beg to differ. No, they wouldn't. You roll because right they through. They would. My moons, roll right my moons are great. Okay. You roll moons right are through. Moons are okay in invasions. <laughs> but it's never going to hit anyone that's actually trying to dodge that shit. It doesn't matter. The, I'm not going to say issue. anything anymore. <laughs> moons are fucking sexy. Yeah, man, they're great. <laughs> See, that's all you had to say, Dragon. That's They're awesome, man. Keep casting it. Just, yeah. You're, you're going to do great. You're moons. Doing awesome. I'm proud of you, and yeah, that's great, dude. Moons. Yeah, just def yeah, do that. Moons. All right, let me see. What would I want to use? What would I want to use incantation-wise? Maybe I'd try and work fire shit into the mix? I don't know. Most of the fire stuff is fucking doo-doo. I wish they weren't so doo-doo. <laughs> I mean, I could just go in our, invest into five arcane and law oh, here comes the thing. Big bombs. Alright, I got some additional spells. Get that sign down, you toxy boy. Right, hold on. Is Chase the Bro actually good at PvP, or am I just a noob that thinks he's good because he posts montages? Mmm. It's a million dollar question. Okay, to anybody, but yeah, but to everybody's credit right now, connections are so fucking bad if you don't have an unedited video, you have three hours or two, or, or one out of three invasions result in the disconnect, so... I mean, all I, I know I don't, is the, the best PvPer I've ever met, uh... Me. This dude... You're welcome. This dude named Dropout Dragon. Crazy, oh crazy guy back in Dark Souls 2. Had a lot of cool builds, but then he just kind of died. I don't know what happened to him. He disappeared. I think he stopped oh, streaming. Yeah, I think he stopped streaming most. right around the time Dark Souls 2 ended. I think he stopped streaming. That sounds about right, right? Start posting my videos in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> the bottle, pick it up. What is this spam? Bam. Just gonna, I'm just gonna do that. Uh, yeah, dude, he didn't do anything on. else after yeah, Dark Souls 2. He didn't. He didn't. Yeah, you're good. I'm, I summoned somebody else in to fuck with. Most of the PvP YouTubers are probably better than average just because they play so much. Well, yeah, that's what normally happens in a game that people play. They get better at it over time. I, 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 yeah. God, man, Nii is so good at Tekken, probably because he plays it so much. <laughs> I think this build has to be called the Prince of Death. Maybe the Prince of Night, because you know we're using like dark spells. Yeah. Like names, huh? I do like I do like fun build names. They're great, man. I you're doing awesome. You're, Prince of you're, Night. Only if only the build was as effective as the name, that would be. You're really no, he's doing. He, he talks. You're so negative all the time. Yeah, talks. Why shut can't the you just up. support Cowboy and what he does? Docs, do I gotta pull out one of my real PvP builds? Why can't you just sit, why can't gotta, you just get stand by yeah. get my ass why beat? Why can't you okay. just stand okay. by and listen to everything he says as if it's law? Why can't yeah, you just Tox, do that? Just fuck. It's Accept so it. Easy. Accept it, bro. <laughs> Accept that I am the best PvPer in the just, world. Just, oh, you're the dude. You're 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 the best. You're a god. Everybody knows it. Everybody Thank here. You. They're, See, they're, you're Dragon, so good. Dragon gets the idea. You're so you're amazing, dude. Like there are a few wondrous flask upgrades you've missed on the walkthrough, bro. The walkthrough is on like episode ten. Okay, it's on I, episode I, I, ten. Honestly, I just I, I I lie awake at night waiting for your next fucking video on PvP. Dragon, I, he just he just lays. Dragon actually, fun fact, he I lays just, in love, bed I holding his it. phone with the the open DM we have on Discord, just being like. Man, I hope oh, Cowboy yeah. pings me. Yeah, yeah, I love it, dude. It's my favorite thing in the world when he tells me things I've known for years. That's Cowboy always my favorite thing. Cowboy sits there thing. all night just having his 
fucking the, like, when I, I when I get those texts hovering over the text. So that when I get when I get like those typing the entire time. When I get those texts from Cowboy saying things I heard seven years ago, like he's just dipping his toe in the water, like <laughs> he's he's like that feeling when you kill both summons and the host runs away. I'm the only one that gets that. It feels so good, dude. No one else knows about that but me. <laughs> I learned that Let me tell you. Attached to a back step today. I feel pretty great. <laughs> Shut up, Tox. <laughs> Unbelievable. Use something besides your sword spear for once in he's, your I life. I swear to God, in three months, he's going to pee on me and be like, Did you know jumping attacks aren't parryable? <laughs> <laughs> like, he's going to. Alright, sign's going down. Oh my god. I summoned in another caster. You're all doing great. I think we are too, Dick. And I am glad that Cowboys have a I am happy about it. Oh my god, Frost Bite. I need a chug, this is bad. I'm dead. That seems like it sucks. Oh, ambush shard? Ambush yeah. shard's garbage. I, yeah, I, yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't even realize you were going for that. Ambush shard is doofy. I was trying it out. The only thing that ambush shard is remotely good at is hitting the pumpkin heads. And, and, and all, every other spell does more damage anyway, so it doesn't matter. So I think on top of Death Rancor chasing and Riker's Rancor chasing, I think we throw a Stars of Ruin into the mix. Stars just of as... Ruin constantly. Stars of Ruin is one of the best spells in the game for people. Yeah, it's just... You can't dodge every one of them. It's just not going to handle you know, your bloodhound stepping. But Well, the hope is that, that that pings them, and then the, the, rancors, the rancors start catching up. Yeah, the only the only thing that, that gets you out of Stars of Ruin is, is bloodhound step or quick stepping. That's the only thing. So if they're not doing that, that's free damage, baby. Get that up. Ambush Shard would be better if it started further behind the person. No, Ambush Shard would be better if it tracked like a normal Glintstone. But it doesn't. Yeah, it just it seems, seems like it just goes straight means, at him from behind. And that's which it. which means if I if if Cowboy was trying to hit me or Tox or anybody who was just sidestepping, we would just be sidestepping without trying, not even sprinting, not even running, and he would uh, not be able to hit us in Ambush. Uh, Tox, we're gonna out. Calm down. I'm trying to see what some spells look like. Does this feel threatening at all to you? Uh, yeah, that comes out pretty quick. That's what I'm thinking. Is like I cast this guy out, and then when you're like, "Ah, oh, this stupid fucking thing," I'm just gonna dodge. It's like come back into the fire. Yeah, it's actually not bad. All right. Um, I want to see. I'm not gonna aim this at you. I just want to aim this at the ground. Let me know if this like hurts. Stay like there. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that hurts a little bit. Wow. Okay. Um. So if I actually try and shoot it... Did you try and dodge there? Uh, no, I didn't run. Damn! Alright, so... Let me see if, if you're running at me. I want you to... Hang on, let me heal. I want you to run at, run at me like you're gonna try and attack, and I'm just gonna try and free aim this and see what happens. So even though that was on top of you, it looks like it just it just went off anyway. Yeah. I rolled right through it. Man, I wish some of these spells would actually be like useful, like. Ah! Bear, I didn't use my sword spear. Are you happy? You got <laughs> no chance against ambush shards when used correctly. Lime, you just confused a walkthrough and a let's play. I'm sorry if I don't take advice from you. Yeah, you're an idiot. Uh, there was only one situation I can think of where an ambush sword would work. And that is literally a guy running straight at you. And I mean straight at you. Full sprint. And you want to trade with it. That is the only possible way... 
you're gonna fucking hit people with ambush shard. You literally and just have said it, and have it you, matter, and you're and they're still gonna trade with you, and they're gonna do the damage of ambush shard when they trade with you, so it doesn't really matter. Like, you I, you I literally just said I was missing crack tears in the walkthrough when, one, you're only up to episode ten of the walkthrough. Two, I haven't for the areas we've been to, which makes me assume that you must be talking about the let's play. If you think Ambush Shard is good in PvP, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Why does the dude talking sound like a fighting cowboy? We're both married. That's why we're not the That seems like a decent, like, people are chasing me down, and I'm just like, fucking get away from me, and then I just bomb it at the ground. But it also, it also seems like a, a track that, like, once they know about the trick, the trick's gone. Right, what's the, what's the explosive power when it's not charged? Um, I'd have to get, like, Tox or someone to test. Because what you, what you should do is mix up the time and charge the next one. That's true. That's what you should do. Was fighting cowboy. He's a guy who got really good at saying. Oh, with the night and flame poke! Nobody People suspects the night and flame poke. Oh no! I got stabbed. You literally. Should just keep from spamming. A hundred dollars right now says you missed. All right, one, I have no way to. Are oh, you saying you're gonna give me a hundred dollars? All right, by all means, tell me what what tier did I miss? Tell me, tell me what tier I missed. And if you are right, I will. I will admit that I am wrong, and that you know where the tiers are. I guess I'm gonna go make a Bloodhound quick stick and I top a pill. This week money. Is Akio Lake North a PvP spot? Uh kinda. It's mostly it's mostly a passworded PvP spot. Like when people wanna meet up and duel with each other with Strength cool not shit. and faith not. Let's see. Strength not crystal tier. Strength not like the fucking first one that you get. Head northeast from Stormhill Shack to the cliffs. Look for a small receptacle in the ground. Where is this at on the map? On Stormhill, I think. Mm, I don't even know where that's at. Hang on. I'm like near there. Let me go look at this. It looks uh -oh. like it should just be. Should just be a like a hole. I probably just ran past it. One of those like stone basin things. Like two, foot, two feet across, it's just a stone bowl. Yeah, because I just we just went and straight killed the boss. We didn't run through this. Let me see. If there is, it should be like here ish. Where is this a basin? Out on the edge of the cliff. I'm on the edge of the cliff. I don't see a basin. Is it up the cliff more? Um, no, it's mm. at where all the giants are at. He said no, go back. Oh, oh, where the giants are at. Okay. I'm probably dead here. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> I was like, the horse survived. Nope, no, it did not. Somebody uploaded, they uploaded a picture of it, but their fucking cursor is in a different spot than their character. And so, nice. I, w I went to where the cursor was, but it looks like it's supposed to be where the character is, which is over here on this cliff. I'm gonna go get my four million runes back. 
what I would like to find out, the true great mystery of souls, is why are blues so fucking bad? Because you're not part of them, obviously. If, if PvP Master Dragon was a blue, they would be unstoppable. They just need a good I leader. I don't think so. I don't like being the fun police, but now they're they're not even the fun police anymore. They're so fucking terrible, it's more fun when they show up. They're the AFK police. They're so bad. There's... <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why. I just every time Dark Souls two, three, now this blues are just terrible. I think that they're just mall cops now. They they are. They're about as effective as mall cops, so it's works oh, out. Do 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 do. Run out of here. Okay, so there's a single troll and a strength knot tier. And what does this do exactly for me? Does it even do anything Up good? Strength by five. That sounds like a, a waste of time. Yeah, but it was there. It was there. You're gonna have you to owe that man hundred dollars now. Pay up. No, I don't. He said he was gonna give me a hundred dollars if uh. If it wasn't there. If it wasn't there, yeah. Or or if it but was you, something but I had. You do have to admit and then apologize. Yeah. You have to say you're wrong and that you're sorry. Right. You I am wrong that I missed the strength tier. That being said, it's fucking useless and it is an item of non-significant value. I'm just saying, man, I'm not sorry. Because at the start okay, of the walkthrough, all right. <laughs> at the start of the, no, man, at the start of the fucking walkthrough, I said, you know, I'm going to try and get everything. There will probably be shit that I miss. I did not say I'm going to get 100% every single fucking item. I'm right, I'm right. And frankly, I'm tired of people telling me when I miss shit, because I don't care. I said at the start, it's a fucking platinum walkthrough. And we're not missing trophies. And I'm not uh, missing anything what I, good what shit. I, what I heard at the start is you wanted it to be a magnum opus. Yeah, but well, that, that, that quickly disappeared when I got fucking tired of people being like, What about Box Quest? What about Box Quest? What about Box Quest? What about Bach? What about the Taylor Man? You didn't do the Taylor Man's quest. What about the Taylor Man? You didn't do the Skaven quest? Fuck no. <laughs> you don't get anything out of it. It's it is it is more of an inconvenience to do that quest. <laughs> Literally going out of go out of your fucking way. Oh, you gotta take a cape off. Better travel across the fucking continent. Well, well yeah. Everybody loves fashion, right? Same thing with the 1K. Someone's like, you missed this one cave. You wanna know what that cave had in it? It had the, the tier one stamina talisman. Who the fuck's using that? Also, you missed Faith, not apparently. But didn't that same guy, or correct me if I'm wrong, didn't that same dude say, though, that, that uh, Ambush Shard is OP if used correctly? Faith Knot's also useless. The point is, I, I would not want to do something where, okay, if I pop my wondrous, my Flask of Wondrous Physic, now I have enough stats to use my sword. That's a terrible fucking use of your Flask. Why would you do that when you could make it negate out an attack? By 99%. No, it or, sounds like it's useless. Or you can make it enhance your charge attacks by 25%. Or stance or break. You can, or you can make it fucking heal you when you get low HP. Or you can make it just remove all fucking mana costs from the game. Or make yourself fucking explode. Like, there's so many good things you can do with the flask. The knots are... are no. They're trash. Should have Cowboy, better. you missed loot sound a bit again. No, I don't even have that anymore. Faith not as good with dragon spells? No, it's not good with dragon spells. <coughs> I literally I have, have like the only- I, I have one of the only dragon builds right now on YouTube. I know how dragon spells work. <laughs> Faith not is go not to, good uh, with dragon spells. Like PvP 7 or something like that? No, I'm just pulling in whoever's around. I'm gonna try something on this person, see what happens. My sign is there. It's the one furthest from the bonfire, I think. All right, I'll grab it after I blow blow this guy up. You might want to turn your game sound down. Oh, they return to their world. So you're denying fishing faith knot? I'm saying it's pointless, Lime. It doesn't matter that we missed faith knot. Faith knot does not matter. Neither does strength oh, you not. missed a tier one golden rune. I feel like that's a pretty big power spike that you missed fairly early on. Darks, have you actually been hit with a double explosive flask of wondrous physic yet? I sure have. We were, uh... Let me be your friend, Docs! <laughs> <laughs> Give me a hug! <laughs> Alright, remember, uh, when we went to go do the, uh, 
Alright. Okay. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. I have a sword. I'll hit you. Stop it. Man. You know what? I can cast spells too. Huh. I'm gonna get you. Is this annoying at all? Tell me if that's a threat. Nope, sure isn't. <laughs> <laughs> sure as fuck isn't. The spell looks so cool, it's a pity. You know, it honestly is sad that that thing doesn't deal fucking dick all for damage. Like, fully charged, this hits you for what? That. 1100. That's you want to you want to know how much that fucking spell costed? Let me see. Yeah, that was eleven hundred damage. I don't know what it costs. I think doesn't charge increase cost? It costs thirty two fucking FP. Hey dragon, what are you using on your level nine character? I'm uh, I'm using the ants for a rapier, and then on my other hand, I'm also using an ants for a rapier, and as well as a, a pulley crossbow. And a kite shield with spare spell for Oh, sit oh. the fuck down, you spammy little bitch! <laughs> That's a clean fairy. <laughs> you didn't expect that, did you? No, I did not. Dodge this. I wish those did more damage. Oh, oh I got these dude. deed. God damn it. I think, I don't know if charging increases FP cost, but I think it does. I don't think it does. I don't know, hang on. It's like free cast. I think it does, because you would see the bar move more. Yeah, let me. Like let the me. second you press the button, it starts going down. So, let me. Oh, wrong thing. Alright, I'm currently at 104 FP. What's the best parry shield? That would be the buckler. However. However. 104. I don't Get know, good man. To uh, use a medium shield, so you can use it for other things. I when I you, like the you... ice crest shield more than the buckler. I like what you like. Well, the ice crest is also a small shield, but it increases your resistance to both frostbite and bleed. That's great. And it's by a. Uh, we're talking. A, we're talking. He said parry shield. I mean, small shields are all parry shields. When we're talking about parry shield, he's asking like how many, how what, what has the most parry frames in it? I don't. Well, what's frames. what's the buckler parry compared to a normal small <laughs> shield parry? It always has more. Every game it has had more. And does it the buckler parry system. does it give more frames to something like carry on retaliation or not? We don't have that information at this time. However, yeah. however, that for specific parrying, it has always uh, been the buckler. That being said, if you want to parry, learn to do it with the medium shields because you'll have the ability to multitask the shield and you won't be obvious. If you pull out the buckler, everyone knows what you're going for. Everyone knows what you're going for. Oh, shit. I shouldn't have summoned you. I was going to take spells off. Parry dagger is the same exact thing. You pull out the parry dagger, everyone knows what you want. Yeah, but the so parry dagger you can't even put carry on retaliation on. So which, it's like, which is whatever. That's, again. That's what I'm talking about. I don't know. I like, I like the small shield because it's it's a significant amount, I think. Like, I go from... Oh, it's not on home. overlay is getting fucking stupid. Game overlay. Uh, from 236. It's a, uh, it's about a 17% increase in your resist. To both bleed and frostbite, which are arguably, I think, the two most common status effects we see in PvP. Which is pretty important. I don't know, I like it. For some reason, I'm actually re I'm really fucking bad at buckler parries. I can do medium shield parries, I can do small shield parries, but buckler parries, it's- I don't know. It's like the- the weird, like, how it's like, huh? Uh, there's like a weird startup on it. Yeah. And I- I don't know, I struggle with it, which is- it doesn't make sense. It gets more frames, but the- the frames come at a different time. Yeah. I like the, the, uh, the animation. 
I like to, I mean, both of them are fine to me, but I like I like to do setup parries with a medium shield. Setup parries with a second. Does the small, I think the small has the same, does the small have, the small has like the same animation as the mediums, it's just more frames, right? I don't like, know an uh, Elden Ring. They have before, yes, but in, but I don't know an Elden Ring. Watch out for Tox getting DC'd. I was doing PvP earlier and the game would randomly crash after I killed someone. Now I'm on a 48 hour ban due to disconnect. Well, it's a good thing I don't really need it. What? What artist paintings, ball bearing, hunter boss, and golden vow? What? I have, I have DC. They, people have DC'd for me constantly, and I have crashed a number of times while trying to invade, and I still have not gotten a, an hour ban for it. But yeah, I have never, I've like never, I've never DC'd. All of those things purpose. are covered in the walkthrough. I have never in my life DC'd on purpose, ever. I don't do that. I take an L. You take your fucking L's. No, damn, that goes Lime, for all Lime, of you. Lime, I didn't fucking miss any of that stuff. It's covered. Is Lime still fucking going on about it? See, the problem is Lime isn't even caught up on the fucking episodes. Mm. Alright, the uh, sign's down. Those episodes haven't even dropped yet. I can go to the walkthrough right now. Only ten episodes of the walkthrough have been released. And what Lime doesn't know, which is why this whole fucking conversation is pointless, is episode 11 is Stormvale, and then episode 12 is Godric. And then after that, we have episode 13, which is called Fringe Folk Hero's Grave and Finishing Limgrave. And it goes around and it picks up all the little fucking shit that I missed in Limgrave. That sign should be down. And regardless, it doesn't fucking matter. Because I said at the start I'm going for trophies. Yeah, like I literally, if it'd be one thing, I like I made it very clear at the start. I said, I'm going to try and grab everything, but I know there's going to be shit I'm going to miss just because of how fucking big this game is. I literally, like the first 30 seconds of episode one, I said that. I did not say, I'm grabbing every fucking item in the game. I'm not going to miss anything. I made it very clear I would probably miss shit and that I would try my best. And I'm sorry that I'm a fucking person and not a goddamn computer that remembers all this shit. All right, Tox, you ready? E. Well, Tox, see, it's not fun if you're just going to outrange all my things. You need to let me hit you with them. Stay in still, Tox! Stop with the pokes! Ow. What kind of build should I use for Royal Greatsword and Star Scourge? Royal... Royal Greatsword's a spell sword thing. Star Scourge is dookie. I wouldn't use it. You know... I was gonna make fun of you, Tox, for the the use of that weapon art, but you actually landed it. It's good. <laughs> so it's, it's not good though. It killed it's not, you. It's not good. I mean, though. well, it did. It did. It I did. Mean, get you. I'm wearing cloth got... robes. I'm just, I'm just... I've killed so many people using this weapon art. It's not even funny. It is a surprising weapon art. I don't see it very often. So that's yeah. It's like people aren't expecting the gap close. That is true. I gotta think what else I want spell-wise. So, Ancient Death Rancor I like. Rikard's Rancor is fun. The Roiling Magma, that felt pretty annoying, right? The big fucking explosions you had to stay away from? Honestly, the most annoying things that you've done so far are the purple balls that pull me towards you, and then the star shit. Yeah, Stars of Ruin. I'm telling you. Start, just, all you really need to do is just cast Stars of Ruin, the purple balls, and then fucking Elden Stars. That's it. Oh, that's... I mean, technically this build could... 
I, I could use Elden Stars and Stars of Ruin. Well, the, the point you is, should. It's, 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 <laughs> just, yeah, Stars of Ruin. Just and, cast and them the at the same time. I mean, oh. I, I am curious to see what it looks like. Just... You should literally just cast Elden Stars and then go straight to Stars of Ruin. You know what he should do? You know what I'm thinking? Hmm. This is what I would do. I'd have yeah. Stars of Ruin, and I would have that uh, Frost Frost Greatsword thing. For, because when, when you're casting Stars of Ruin, they're going to want to close the gap with you because they, they're not going to be able to dodge it, so they're just going to be rolling Damn, into you, right? Stomp. And then either Horfrost Stomp into the uh, the Frost Greatsword oh, spell thing, because that's that hits hard. That hits very hard. Oh, the Frost yeah. Frost Greatsword's fantastic. That'll probably get included. I think that's one of the best spells in the game, because it's a multi-hit as well. I'm telling you, I think that's what you should do with Stars of Ruin, and then, and then you just do that. With this build, you have the opportunity to pick the best of both worlds. I feel like you're just kind of filling up slots with just kind of dog shit stuff right now, where you could just be like focusing on the good well, stuff. Well, I, I need to have some of the dog shit stuff, because that's the whole point of the build, is to, to have some of these hybrid spells. I mean, I like Ancient Death Rancor. The Ancient Death Rancor is nice. Is to be bad. The point of the build is to use the spells that you can only use when you have these stats. Yes, we're gonna yes. we're gonna try the super mega cancer combo that you were hoping and to see. Again. Damn, damn, this shit is fucked. Let me check a. Uh, let me do a verify integrity. I was not doing this earlier. Night in flame. Pretty good weapon. Yeah. Me once. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> Just died. <laughs> hey man, I'm gonna poke him. Oh, oh. <laughs> hey, the phantom got you. So that was a that was a trade. <laughs> Joshua. All right, we're gonna see what happens here, Joshua. I'm gonna cast some really fucking annoying shit. We're gonna see if you can reach me or not. This is Katana Boy. Oh, he's Claw Boy now. Okay. Wait. I have an idea. Just do a uh, Elden Star and start rearing the last bit. Now we have to try to close the gap. Oh, uh, he's just, he's just being a meta duelist. Yeah, I, I can't even use my flask. I'm probably dead. Man. Yeah, I'm dead. Meta build is PvP meta build. You got you. You got me. All files successfully validated. Okay, so game just fucking borked. <laughs> Question about God Slayer spells, since they are percentage based, would they be good for bosses? I don't think they're very good. I, I tried using them. I don't think they're very good. I feel like you're gonna do more damage with pretty much any other spell. Maybe... Maybe against like new game plus seven when HP percentage is suddenly a huge concern. They'll be more more helpful, but What even are the God Slayer spells? They're just black flame oh, no, uh, There's black flame. They're not very good. No, black flame is not good They're all black flame weapon buff. It's so good. It lasts yeah, eight eight seconds. Of That's the biggest fucking shame Eight seconds of something that other buffs do better Enjoy. Does it cause bleed? No. Does blood flame do it? Yes. Blood flame is fucking sexy. It is. Blood flame is really good. You getting fire damage and bleed damage? <laughs> I used blood flame on a uh, Mizzacord for a while. I just kind of ran around poking the shit out of people and like slashing them. The only problem is I could chase them down with that that was hilarious, dude. That was so funny. They'd, like, they'd like, run up with their green shield like... <laughs> what the fuck is going to that shit? Yeah, I mean, that that's worked. a good fucking combo. Hmm? 
I see. There you go. Yeah. Just Do spamming out. Stars. I'm gonna spam oh, yeah. out stars all the shit ruined. that'll fucking. I uh, literally went. Elden stars, stars of ruin, collapsing stars, ancient death, ring. Just this is shit that's gonna chase you around. It's an yeah. endless amount of shit that'll chase you around. Yeah, you are a machine gun of pursuers. That's gonna be the most effective bet against people. Honestly. That's Jeez. really. I mean, like, I understand what you're trying to do. I'm just telling you, it's not gonna. When you run into somebody, like when you run into that meta shit. No, oh, yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean, fast, down. fast, fast dash and claw, man. Like, yeah, it's it might as well be a fucking rock paper scissor contest that I'm playing rock and he's playing paper. Like, yep. Yeah, except your paper. Because your character gets ripped in half. <laughs> I will say, I do like that that gives me parries, like, all the Yes, Tox, you're so good. You figured out how to counter a mage build. Shit, if I had that, I'd have to do that too. I'm not falling for that trick again. Fuck you. <laughs> Goes for the jumping. Oh, what the fuck? Hang on a second. All right, never mind. We're good for a second. And like my R1 wasn't working. Yeah. Jumping attack. Oh wow. Curved at the last second there. That seems a lot more effective on flat ground. I was trying to fight somebody with that in hills, and I just like would slightly step to the side, and it would miss. It has pretty crazy tracking. Like, you can bend that shit like all the way around. Pretty cool, pretty cool weapon. It's a cool it weapon for sure. And it's a large thrusting sword, so you know that's already up my alley. Oh yeah, Dragon loves big, long thrusting objects. Yeah, I love them, dude. Like my it comes dick. From slightly yeah. later in the game, so I, and I think the requirements on it. Are what about Elding Star and Flame Casting yeah. Snake? We could try. Strength thirty-seven decks, so that's kind of. I haven't fought this guy yet. It looks like one of the default soldiers. Oops. What are the requirements on that thing? 18 strength, 37 dex. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good god! You can get it from Placidex. I know where I get it. I know what it is. I just did to the Rex. That's yeah, uh... That's, that's an expensive son bitch. Yeah. Open art's pretty fun though. <laughs> yeah, I would imagine it is. I am now red lightning. Yeah. Oh, Soldier Man living up to his reputation here. Yeah, it doesn't seem like Soldier Man's doing very good. Exploded. Yeah, I think he, he tried to run up and explode. Say, so, I don't know, do I... Hmm. I don't know if yeah, I man. want... Do I want Elden Stars or just Stars of Ruin? Elden Stars is good. It is annoying as fuck to deal with. Stars of Ruin is also good. Well, it's Except also both. cast and forget. Yeah. Cast and forget. Elden Stars is definitely your opener there, and then just go into Stars of Ruin or the, uh... The, like gravity pull spell. Yeah. Um, I'll probably slap on a Duelist Moonblade just so if they do get close, I at least have something. Yeah. Because Moonblade, that thing fucking hurts. And it's a multi hit. I mean, with this build, the more, the more stuff you have to control the distance, the better it's going to be. So, like, a Duelist, Horfrost, yeah, anything much that's going to, like, yeah. cover your close range is going to be kind of nutty. You know what two words I'm tired of hearing about in this game? Mm. Moon and fingers. I am already tired of hearing about fingers and the moon. <laughs> I'm tired mm. of it. Moon, moon this, moon that, stars. fingers, fingers, fingers. Stars of ruin. Uh, I'm debating if I want roiling magma. So I did like the control potential, but 
I mean, it, it has very limited fucking applications, you know? I need to hope someone's dumb enough to walk over top of it. I think I go mostly chase, 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 chase. And then I have a moon blade for when they get close. I think that sounds smarter. Toss like a wrath of gold in there. Loretta's mastery, that, that takes a little too long, I feel. That's Loretta's a, or wrath of gold? Loretta's. Yeah. Loretta's is like, it's coming! Don't hang, hang on, it's coming. You're like, it's, okay, it's done. Soft cap is not 60 for most attributes. That's entirely inaccurate. Soft cap is 80 for most attributes. Spells don't look enjoyable to fight against. Tanner, I'm saying this as a PvP -er. Nothing is fun to fight against in this game. That's just how it is right now. So we're gonna open the battle with Elden Stars. From there, what's my next best thing? Do I go for the Rikerds to chase? Mm, or do I go no, into the No, because they're gonna- They'll probably be running away from you, and Rikerds isn't gonna be too good. Yeah, so Stars so of Ruin- pull them, You wanna pull them back in with, um- So Gravity are on our second good. cast. Yeah, and then Stars of Ruin. I like- I like the Death Rancor into the Gravity. And then when they start dodging that, then we- We hit him up with the fast one with Stars again. Well, the thing is, is the Elden is gonna hit hard if it explodes. Yeah, but and they're gonna be yanked into it. Well, here, I'll let's let's. There's there's ten ten default memory slots in the game, right? Uh, maybe. I actually don't have the answer to that question. This build's not done. I do not have the link for it. Did Gee. we figure out if you? All right, top. We're we're gonna more than. Like Ten, yeah. The, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna run through this bullshit and you let me know how it feels. If you're like, right, fuck I'll just, this. I'll just actively try to dodge. Yeah, don't don't just, because I'm obviously, you can just fucking... I mean, if I ran into this okay, shit, I'm just gonna run in the opposite direction and be like, yeah, fuck this guy. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I, I'll, I'll try two things. I'll try, I'll try actively dodging and then I'll try running. Yeah, it seemed like a lot of bullshit to... It is. It's a lot to dodge. It starts overlapping. Yeah. Ah, yes, the greatsword. Uh, I'll just try... Eh, time to fucking run. You can't run from the stars! Uh, Alright, so... Oh, uh, no, you did. You managed to outrange <laughs> the stars. Yeah, okay, so if you just run, you can... <clears throat> Alright, um, when the Elden Stars pops up, I want you to run in and try and actually kill me. So it's like, you know, you're an invader. You see the host do this, and you're like, oh, no, nah, we ain't playing this caster bullshit. Well, not, not with, no, no shields. No shield. Everything but the shield. No. <laughs> <laughs> This is literally like spell tracking the game. Oh, I can hit you while you're in the cloud? Yeah. Wow, I didn't know that. I mean, I'm not vulnerable. That'd be kind of nutty. Yeah. So that. Mm, yeah, that seems. When I landed. That was like on top of you, right? How do we feel about Rikert's Rancor? It's dog shit. It's dog shit. Damn, that's two votes for dog shit. Ugh. Sorry, I'm telling you, swap it out for Wrath of Gold. I don't I don't think we need Wrath of Gold when we have the Greatsword. Well, I mean, variety is the spice of life. Well, I was debating on putting uh, the... the <laughs> except for the ones that are dog shit. <laughs> yeah, except for the ones that are dog shit. I was debating on putting Scarlet Aeonia into the build. The giant fucking explosive flower no, thing. That one is that one's worse. Just well, so so I, well, I, well bind up, uh, good damage. I should I should do sorceries. Okay. I so, should do most. That's the great sword. Great sword. Yeah, I have, sword have the great sword. Phalanx. 
if you want a sorcery. Or the briars. The briars, the briars, could be good. briars doesn't work well. You just roll I would do. It. I would no, do. No, not the chase briars. The uh, the like short. They AOE don't. They don't work. You. You're hurting yourself, and you need to scale it up three times before it does real damage. Okay. Then just do what? It, what about? All right. What about? Yeah, phalanx is good, and once yeah. you have phalanx cast, the triple great bow shot could be okay while they're dodging all that bullshit. Uh, I'll yeah. I'll add it into the mix and we can see. I think I can see Phalanx. I like the idea of Phalanx because that's just a, you know, I throw it up and then it's, it's one there. more thing that you have to fucking deal with. Yeah, it's just it's, boom, Phalanx is up, and then after Phalanx, um, you know, you're dodging. Well, no, let me let me put Phalanx on a little bit later after I've gone through my my rotation of bullshit to make you dodge. And that. I don't know if Loretta's mastery will make a lot of sense here, but I'll try it. Is your sign down? I got pulled by uh, no, right, Joshua. I'll, I'll, I'll pull. Uh, I think that's the Edge Lord guy. Edge Lord. He's also laggy. Yeah, the guy, the 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 fast dash blood claws man. Yeah. Oh, Meta Man. That was. Yeah, yeah. Meta Man. Oh, guys, itch because they play meta. But... Oh, it's good. Oh man, Balan went kill. Oh no. Nope, 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 nope. I already know that one. I already know that one. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, I'm dead. Oh, no, that has a short range. Oh, my God. The value of that suddenly just went to nothing. Damn. Damn, he, I thought he had me. I was like, I'm My dead. Is so laggy. Holy I was shit. like, I'm dead. And then I noticed it just like, whang, hit like four feet in front of me. I was like, oh, oh no. That weapon arts value suddenly just went from like, holy shit, that's scary to like, oh, never mind. I, I think this is, I think this is good. I think for, for the spell set guess. we have. I mean, it's it's basically just like welcome to tracking hell. That's literally what yeah, this build is. I would I would cast the phalanx before you try the great sword. Or sorry, the great bow. I cast that first. I think phalanx get yeah. the phal. I think well, I, I think, ideally, I think, get, I think I start the battle with phalanx. No, I think you started with the. Yeah, that's the Elden is the longest cast. Well, I'm think. I mean, I'm thinking I can have Carrion up before I even cast Elden, and then if they start approaching me during Elden, Carrion will go off. If they're at that distance anyway, they're not going to get there. I, I, they're going to be looking at the Elden. I think I think you want to do everything you can to get the Elden off immediately, then go into the Phalanx, and then do whatever the hell you want after that. Well, because I don't... While, while Elden's chasing them, I want to... Because that's what I did before, but while Elden's chasing them, I want to start going into all my, my spammy well, chase did, bullshit. Did, 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 do whatever you want to do. What do I know, man? I got, I got two additional spell slots. I don't have to put anything there, but... Eight years of PvP. What do I know? <laughs> Whatever, man. What do you What do you think about the fashion for a for a dual cast Night and Flame? I think the gloves got to go. I need different gloves. You asking me about fashion? Chat fashion. Let's discuss. All right, All right. cool. The Lord of Blood stuff looks pretty. The Godskin Apostle bracelets seem to go with it. I think. You look like. <laughs> You look like you put your bathrobe on, like, in the shower, and then walked out <laughs> while the curtains were still up. You still had the shower curtains up, and you just took them with you. The Zamor bracelets also look kind of... And I get a little bit of poise out of them. What would, like, some actual gauntlets look like? Like, metal gauntlets on that? <laughs> Not very good. Uh. And it's a heavy load. I think we go Zamor. Godskin robe. The this fat one. <laughs> no, I just I don't like I don't like that it's like skin. I don't like the skin look. You don't like that? Oh, bro, where are these from? This is literally I might make a fucking bloodborne build just because people put like, bloodborne build. Okay, well, do me a do me a big favor. Yeah. 
Uh, when you're doing that, don't invite me. <laughs> don't, just, don't, don't invite me to that, okay? I'm and I'm sure that. everybody will enjoy that. I'm sure everybody will be like, oh, thank God he's not here to ruin our casual fun. All right, hybrid build is done. And talk about how Bloodborne is super overrated. No one wants to hear can, it, dude. You can do that armor set and the fucking wheel of Giza and hand cannon and all that other stuff. Ugh, gross. Mm. All right, Tox. Now you get to fight. The man. The man. The man. The man. The man. Oh, this shit. All right, hold on. He needs to be there? No, he doesn't. Tries to. What an odd name. We love Dropout? Oh, I know. That's not true. That is so not true. But rewind the stream about an hour ago and watch chat's reaction to me showing up and tell me we love Dragon. You tell me that in my face. Lie to me. Yeah, chat doesn't even know what this build is. They're like, what the fuck? Yeah, this is the well, seat water. That, oh my is the, god, that fucking blood proc. This is the seat water stabber. Do you really have to call it that? <laughs> I, think I don't that's like good... I don't like I don't like how you have decided to be like, okay, well You're I'm gonna beautiful. I'm gonna uh build on one of Dragon's builds. And I'm gonna change the uh, name, baby. And I'm gonna make this and I'm gonna make it a really shitty name, like right, Seathwater right. Stabber. <laughs> like that's so fucking dumb, dude. Alright, alright, alright. I can go back to the, the scum spur. Scum spur? This is the scummy build. I mean that that's that's better than seeth water stabber. What is that, dude? I don't know. Because because seeth water, it's the caves where you got to deal with poison and rot and all that other bullshit, and you stab just, people. It just, just sounds crap, dude. I just said shit. I'm still in favor of double barrel pink eye, but that's my name. That's my build. My bail My build's called the double barrel pink eye, and it's level mm. nine. A level nine build that does half of what hey. actually. Almost all of what Cowboy is doing. He's just at a higher level. We both blew up each other. I love you, Dragon. If you're honest up front, don't care about feelings. It's truthful. Yeah, but that doesn't excuse that I'm an asshole. And I gotta be better about it. But at the same time, I really don't give a shit about most people taking the sun. Like, the game's oh. mechanics when they don't actually know anything about them. And they don't have the context of eight years of like, the same shit that, that gets up my nose. It just works. Uh -huh. Oh shit. Oh! Okay, so that actually tracks pretty well with basic movements. You have to dodge through it. That's cool. Starby's claw or whatever. Yeah, I, I was just like, I'm just gonna casually run to the side, and it summons up directly under you. He hates the name. I think that means it's the name for the build. It's Seat my build. Stabber. Why your don't build. I get to name my own build? <laughs> what the build. fuck is this? this? This is my build now. <laughs> don't you fucking try. <laughs> don't you dare. Try. I'm and talking. Oh my god! I keep getting summoned in by other people. Leave me alone. I, 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 I was will, thinking. I, will, I was thinking about I, you know you know the the meme where you're like. Yeah, like, I know that one. Yeah. Oh, this, I, I you did this. this. You I made this. this. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I made this. Don't you fucking dare! I'm not gonna steal your build, dragon. You know how hard it was to make a level nine character fucking do what it does. Shit suck. That was doo doo. I had to do so Ooh, much math. I like I like that name, Elden Blight. That sucks too, man. Oh, well. it something tr if this is a trolley shithead build, why can't it be something funny? Whatever. We'll just name what it, name it, it the, the trolley shithead. Whatever you want to name it. Whatever you want. I I call it a lot of things. I call it the let's not take PvP too seriously and make people refund the game. That's I, I've called it a lot of shit, so it doesn't really matter. Scum spur, double barrel pink eye, seeth 
buddy, damn you. Whatever the fuck you want to do, I don't care. My build, that's what I'm calling. Mine. Wow, what the hell? I missed, but he didn't miss? Come on. Get him with the pokes. Get him with the pokes. Poke, 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 poke. Yeah, yeah, you like that? You like my big mushroom booty? Yeah, but that feels good, don't it? A lot of people have called it cancer. Yeah, I know that. That's very true. I keep getting summoned to other people's worlds. Stop, please. This is my kind of build. Oh, great. All right, thanks. This is great. Stop is summoning good. Toxic. I want to poke him with my pokey sticks. We need to go to a different pass. Oh, man, that was scary. All those status bars. That's kind of the point of this. There's too much going on on this one. Alright, mine is like out in the field. Oh yeah, I'm, 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 I'm fighting somebody real fast. Dragon's little stabber. <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. <laughs> God, I, yeah, I'm actually kind of digging that, to be honest with you. It's got my goddamn name in it. Alright, we're gonna- hang on, I'm coming, Tox. The Swollen Stroom. Call it Looking Chunky dead. Boy? No, that's seems stupid. Like, seems like you're getting- you bleed proc off way more than you would the Scarlet Rot. Well, it's because the bleed is is in my main hand now. Or no, no, it's not. Keen is in the off hand. Yeah, I don't know. People are well. It's because it's because I went. Where did you say you put it, Tox? I think I see it. Hang on. I don't know if you have a well, Mario, he's he's it, Mario. We're we're discussing the what his version of my build is going to be, because we all know that my my name's build is Double Barrel Pink Guy. We know that one. That was already established. And I don't care what PZ says. She's a fucking gnarled fingered babushka witch, and I don't give a shit what she says. PZ? It's called double. Yeah, don't worry about it. I have other friends. I'm talking to Mario right now. Who's a talented artist. I hope for permission to. Nice pokey stick you have, Tox. I also have pokey sticks. Anybody that talks to you, if there's one thing that you can do well, let's fucking run. Oh Space my god, the fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, Tox. He's, he's, he's spacing this guy. I know. I know he's spacing. Yeah. Yeah. He is spacing a little long, I will admit that. He is, he is doing that. Tox playing that max distance game. But you're spacing a bit long. Oh, you fucking <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Leave it to Tox. Spends more time running than he spends fighting. I was looking for the long space. Right? You got you got some special was, fucking track spurs on that, that builder? That was, was kind of long, I will say, Tox. That was a little long. It was necessary. Bullshit, if that was a duel, you would have fucking ran out of the arena and over across the street. I'm sorry, who died? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what I thought. I'm just saying, <laughs> Dragon, in a typical duel arena, do you have that much fucking space to run away? Uh, no, not really. Mm. Well, on two of, on two of them, they, they did, but... I mean, not many people did it. I am saying, what well, basically what I'm saying is, I understand you don't have to it. run in a straight line. I you can am... Run in circles. I am... In fact, saying that I understand that you're you're spacing cowboy out of it, but I do think that that is way too much space is needed. That's why I think. I mean, on low HP like that, I just have to stay outside of Horfrost. You're not I even mean, in attack range. It, 
I'm mean, just I saying, I, I'm, I was so ready, I was ready to fight to the death. You were ready to run for 30 minutes until you had enough space to use a dragon. Hey, welcome to Souls, everybody. Hey, hey the friendships are, these, are made get in Get these bubbles game. away from me. Friendships get, get, are made. Fuck out of here, these bubbles. How much are those bubbles do? Uh, I don't know, but I heard they, they I know they stub on. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's something else. The Seath Water Stabber strikes again. God, that's such a shitty name. You really think so? You don't like Seath really, Water Stabber? I'm, really, I'm, not, I'm not kidding. This isn't like a bit or a joke or just trying to get under your skin for no reason. I honestly think that's a shit name. But it's, sound seems but. Uh, I don't know. These other people aren't running away for 30 seconds worth of the duel. <laughs> They're actually fighting, but I guess I can pull you in I again. I can actually beat these other people. No, Tox, Tox, I'm being honest with you. I'm not joking. You're just boring to fight, because all you do is run. I would rather trade with you and die than have you run for 30 fucking seconds. You're like the same as the Bloodhound Step people. It's not fun. You just, you just run, 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 and I'm like, fuck. Man. Either die or kill me already, you know, one or the other. Because fuck, the running is exhausting. I'm sitting here using fucking suicide flasks, and you're like, I'm gonna see how fast I can run. Millennia only works when you catch people off guard with it. Sure does. I also meant to have my weapon swap there. What if I, I'm trying to find people I haven't haven't fought. Cynthia, this person sounds new. No, we took a break. I took a break and I took a nap <laughs> with the baby. This goes here. There we go. Fancy twirl. Are you gonna buff too? Okay, I'm gonna buff too. Alright, let's fight. You like Mushroom Man? Oh, yeah. I'm fucking eat you. Actually, maybe I need Dung Eater's armor for this build. Just because he really looks like a right piece of shit, you know? <laughs> Actually, I ran into somebody doing that today. Doing I don't what? know if he was watching me or not, but he was using... Um, yeah, I, ran, I invaded him. His name was Nurgle Cultist, and he was running it full... Dung Eater and two of the ant spurs. And I'm pretty sure he was they, that he like knew who I was because like they both gave me like super honorable dual time bullshit, which was, I guess, nice of them. They didn't have to, it was an invasion, but they came at me one at a time, which I thought was nice. Detailed what? What do you want? Whoa. You gonna, you gonna backseat oh my, my god, this is so fucking annoying! Come back in five years. And Bloodhound is something else. It's just annoying as shit to fight against. This is. Here we go. Fucking Jesus Christ. Stop that. 
God, that's the fucking worst. Dash, 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 Jesus Christ, Joshua. And my misery. <laughs> okay, we'll be back. All right, we'll go away. <laughs> Dragon what? And ask your fucking question. I want to have a smoke. What? I don't know if I need dung eater stuff. I mean... I guess, I don't know. I mean, being, being the fat boy without the cape is kind of fun. And this armor does have a fuckload of stats. I'm at a uh, 72 poise. That is a lot of poise. Mm -hmm, a thick boy. Oh, we're doing our horror frost off the bat, are we? Oh, frozen man. Okay, come here, frozen man. Yeah, that was a- that was a fucking terrible idea. I don't know why- <laughs> I don't know why you thought you were gonna cast Frozen Mist... Uh, in the face of a caster. Point blank range poison. Yeah, that- that was a really fucking bad idea. You, know, you, you showed up and you were like, I want to die today. No, I don't know the- I don't know that. Hey dragon, what do I think of the cowboy build? Uh, jump, jump, right off a bridge, anytime you want to. <laughs> what about the salt maker? No. You don't like that? No, it has to reflect what you're doing. Yeah, making salt. <laughs> making yeah, the build. Well, yeah, a lot of builds could be the salt maker. I'll go throw on Bloodhound Step and piss you off all fucking night. Yeah, I call a, that the salt maker. That's uh, this point. is this has a theme. This has a theme. God damn it! And I, again, you're missing out on double barrel pickaxe. <laughs> you're missing out on that shit. Oh shit! What? Double barrel pink eye is such a good name. Isn't it? Isn't it good? <laughs> Damn, what is that? I've never even seen that art, but that with the Naga Kagibaniba or whatever. Whoo, boy. Dude's doing just super sweet. I think it comes goes. out pretty quick. Yeah, it does. That was called the Chipotle Special. I like that. See, it just makes no fucking sense. People are like, why is it called the Chipotle Special? Because we name all the tech after food. It doesn't matter. He's already referencing something else, so don't worry about it. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. I don't know your cool kid club terminology. All the all the old Dark Souls tech is named after food for some reason. I don't even remember Yeah, this why. is the burrito tech? Yeah, that's the burrito step, this and that. It's all that. You should not put your sign right on top of the. I can't. I can't get and your what sign. What we're talking on top about is the, the. And Mario, you even fucked it up. It's called Chipotle sandwich. Dragon, what about the CD build? CD nuts. <laughs> is that what you're, is that's that what, what you're going that's on? That's what he's going for. That's pretty weak. Dude. Here in my voice, like they just absolutely just double hammers. Oh man, this looks you gotta scary. do better. You have to do better. No, come back. Ow! It's too late, William. The mark. I already called it out for what it is. There's nothing you could do about it. Oh god, that's true. Mark. It is you, bad Mario. You disgusting. Dude. And when's my shit done? Hello? Oh, I thought I could get one more through that. I don't know. I want my money back, Mario. I want my money back. Is Mario doing fun emotes for you? No. No, he's doing something for my husband. He's making you a sock puppet? He's doing something for my husband. A new sock puppet? No. Why would my husband have a sock puppet? No. A techie sock puppet. He doesn't need that. Techie doesn't need a sock puppet. Techie oh. needs a cover. Doesn't he, Mario? <laughs> Naughty Mario. You're about to see, I call this the Mango Padango, the special technique. He does. Yeah, I know he does. Thank you. 
I can make a Ronnie Moon build? Oh, I'd rather, I would rather sniff powdered glass than do that. Absolutely. Is it okay to ask for co-op help in the stream? No, he's doing something else right now. Powdered glass is so crunchy. Yeah, to be honest, I'm, I don't, I don't offer co-op help in streams. There are a million of different people who you could pull in at any given time. Um, I'm, I'm busy doing stuff. He's busy. I'm busy poking people as the Seath Water Stabber. God, it's so bad. I, I don't, man, I don't know, man. I think it rolls off the tongue kind of nice. It reminds me of like an old, uh, like an old '80s movie. Like, ah, oh, yeah, Seath Water Stabber. You don't, you don't get that same vibe. No, and I wouldn't no. have that same vibe after a hundred years with a gun to my head. What are you talking about? Uh, I don't it's know, man. Fifties Seath Water Stabber. See, he. What are you? What are you talking you about? You don't like the Seath Water Stabber? Stop asking the same. I'm telling you, it's shit. <sighs> it's shit. It's a shit name. I'm sorry. The name has a Sounds serial like killer garbage. vibe. That's right. With yeah, see, the chat knows. Chat knows. Ah, Seath Water Stabber strikes again. See. Doesn't matter. With 130 poise, you could tank a hit from Colossal Weapons. How would I get to 130 poise? I'm already wearing some pretty fucking poised up armor. This high poise. I mean, there's the poised talisman, and I guess the poised flask. This build is worse than that overpowered build from Dark Souls. <laughs> Chad said it's not me. <laughs> I didn't say that. I'm telling you, since he hates it, it makes it so much better. I don't, I just, I like how that rolls off the tongue. Oh my lord, that was insane. You say $130 for co-op? No. Go away. Stop. Detailed, you're not funny and you're trying real hard. You've been trying to bait into another issue for like another, for the last 30 minutes. That is honestly pathetic. It's getting boring. And when the Stumble. mods are bored with you, you'll be taking a walk. And that'll be it. I'll need to go buy the thing for poise, or not buy it, and but I need no to get one it. will care. Literally no one will fucking care. You will be forgotten about two minutes after you're gone. So is it worth it to continue being this way or reg have a regular conversation like a normal person? Mm -hmm. Make your choice. Hang on, I gotta go get... Well, let me see... What's the poise break point? 130? God, you try so fucking hard. Unbelievable. So, the poise... Well, we want, we want that on for sure. Well, actually, I feel like I'm not even getting the rod off. I feel like people are dying before that happens now. I don't know how long a person like that has been on the internet. But how disappointing trolls have become in this day and age they are so fucking disappointing they come in here they repeat the same ass shit everybody has heard for the last fucking 10 years like it's something fucking special get something new come up with something better you don't have to just use slurs or use the word salty or do any of that crap you're boring you have nothing left nothing left Get some think outside the box for 12 seconds. Think about it while making a hot pocket. Just do it. And then it's, stick it's your hard. dick in the hot pocket because that's the only warmth you'll ever feel after you disappointed your parents as long as you've been in that fucking basement. What? What was that? Done that. <laughs> doesn't, it doesn't matter. How much did that flask increase my health? I'm back. I'm back to you. I like my insults. I know you. All right, boys. Let's see what this seat water stabber can do. In PVE, I'll oh, stay away from me, Mr. Tree Spirit. I'm not buffed yet. This Tree Spirit's so rude.
can't believe it. Holy shit, look at it go. Look at it go, look at it go. Look at it go, look at the damage. Oh, look at the bleed. Oh, look at the poison. Oh, no. Oh, the rot. The poison. The fucking... Oh, the frostbite. Oh, God, it's too much. It can't possibly survive this. It's dead. Sure did. No, I'm coming back, Tox. Now I'm, I can outpoise everything. Oh, Which of you enjoyed the most? Probably, probably the arcane build. I'm a sucker for dragon spells. And Placid Axis Ruin will have a special place in my heart forever because world first discovered the Placid Axis. Uh, but also because it's just a cool spell. You know, it's just, it's just a cool spell. Mr. What about Mr. Abestus? How do you like that? Mr. Abestus. <laughs> Whatever you want, man. I'm, I'm asking your opinion. Do you like Mr. Whatever Asbestos? You want, dude, you, you really want the Seathwater Stabber called the Seathwater Stabber. I, I do care. I do like as the long, Seathwater Stabber. As, as long as you credit me, I don't give a shit. I really don't care. Call whatever you want. So right now I'm at my 96 build, boys. My level 9 invasion build is called Double Barrel Pink Eye. Whatever you name the higher level version of that, that's up to you. You can do whatever you want. But it's still... As long as I am credited. Wait, the leaden, the leaden hard tier says boost stability, but my poise value didn't re-increase. What the fuck is it talking about? Like shield stability? Stability is shield. No, well, but hang on. It says temporarily boosts poise in mixed physic under the item effect, and the description is boosts stability. <sighs> World first plastic stuff for having the game two weeks early. Hey, man, there were... A ton of fucking people that had the game early, okay? I was in a, a leaker discord. On a bunch of people, they were just... They, they, they were they were basically, like, eating up any details they could. And I was sitting there, and I was like... And, what, you know things? And I was like, yeah, I know things. Couldn't confirm things, but I knew things. There was all the other press people. All, every, every, every single reviewer. Nobody knew where Plastidex was. But I found Placid X. I found Placid X. Yeah, Leaden Hard Tier is also poison description. We're gonna see. Cause that's that's the thing. If this can poise through attacks to keep poking, it's gonna be fucking unstoppable. As much as I like the suicide bomb, it's kind of cheeky. All right, you ready? Let's do this. Oh, I'm, I'm poisoning through the Naginatas now. Oh my god, is he actually curing frostbite as I inflict it? Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Stop that. Stop that. Who does that? Who is all their consumables on the bar? You're trying too hard at this. No, he's not. Get poked. No, he's doing great. And I'm very proud of him. Shut up, Dragon. Don't support I'm this. Very, don't, I'm don't very support good. This. I'm, don't support this. What do you mean this. don't support, don't support that. that? Don't support That's that. That's what it's going to look like in three months. That dude's ahead of the curve. Oh, uh, what do I need good here? Good for him. I feel like Rot's not going off. I think I should drop Kindred of Rot's Exultation. And I could either go raise his attack power with successive. Maybe I should I swap to Lord of Blood's exaltation? Because I'm getting bleeds really fast, it seems. Actually, Kindred of Rot. That I wonder if that conflicts with the Mushroom Helm. Maybe. I'm just gonna swap it up. So that way I get a buff from the bleed and then a buff from the poison. Why wouldn't you use boluses? Because who has time to scroll through their inventory and and check all the boluses? It's too much work. Uh, literally everyone for the last nine years who has ever been in a duel. Yeah, well, you're all tryhards. And there it is. What tryhards? <laughs> Why don't you just fucking die to the status effect? <laughs> just I die already, it. dragon. Just fucking die. <laughs> Oh 
wind right. is blowing outside. So I'll let that one go. Oh, yeah. Always makes this fun. Oh, holy shit. The second hit on that Loretta's thing hurts really bad when it connects. Damn. You clean up your inventory? I've already cleaned up my inventory. I ain't going through consumables. Too much to clean. Can't call others tryhard as one? I would hardly consider myself a tryhard. Half of my builds... How many... How many tryhards use fucking moons in PvP? That's a passive admittance that the moons are bad. Shut up. The moons are great. Uh-huh. There it is. They're not part of the tryhard scene, is my point. I like the moons. I want to try that Loretta's Great Glaive again. I'm going to try and dodge it. Well, now he's using a great sword. Well, let's see if I can place through it. Oh, man. I'm getting mine, but it'll be forgotten oh, oh. a minute when everybody agrees with whatever he says again. Listen, I like moons, man. They're cool. It's a cool fucking spell, okay? It is a cool spell. It's, a, it's cool a cool fucking spell. spell. And you know what? It's... It may be complete non-viable in duels, but you know what? In invasions, it's funny as fuck when someone starts running and then a moon suddenly goes zoop boom. Look, I'm going to be... No, this isn't attacking you or your mentality about it, but in two weeks when people are so used to invaders and all that crap, they're just going to run through it. All I know, I'm... all I know is that I got a clip of me and Tox doing PvP and I moon somebody and I'm pretty sure... I don't know, Band Bandai wanted me to submit some clips, so there's either going to be the, the fun the fun moon clip, or, or it might be the one where I used a comment and we blew a thousand health off that one dude. Because <laughs> I, I sent them the, the placid, I sent them the placid, uh, the placid clip with Ron, where you just hear, WHAT THE FUCK IS THAT?! And Ron just screaming as he dies, and they're like, we, we can't use that. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> it was fun, but I figured. Like, do you have any, like non-late game item things, and I was like, yeah, okay. Oh! Aaron thought he was gonna get swippy with it with the spinny to winny, and my pokey to doki said, no sir. No sir, I'm a big mushroom man, you like that? That was fun. Yeah, I think I think poise and passive heal over time seem to be the physics combo in this. That was super part close. Of sweat one meta. Well, look, I'm just gonna let you guys know. No, nobody who, nobody care, nobody who cares about this game is gonna apologize for being good at it. That's just how it is. You can call them tryhards, sweat lords, whatever you want. They're not gonna apologize for being good at something. It's not gonna happen. I, I don't. My problem isn't isn't that they're good with it. It's the. I don't know, I guess as a casual PvPer, when I see somebody, like, they have all their boluses hotkeyed up and shit, to me, that just, it seems like an excessive amount of preparation. They came to beat you? But I mean, it's like they're preparing for every possible thing, like, oh, well, this person, yeah. If there's poison, I must have this. If there's what I must, like, it's just like... Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't, like, I want to I, I want to win, but if I get frostbite, I get frostbite. I'm not like, oh fuck, I gotta... I gotta fix that. And yeah, the poise, the poise suddenly has made this a lot fucking deadlier. You guys should never apologize for being prepared. You shouldn't apologize for being good either. That's just, that's just it. Apologize. Oh, it's not gonna happen. So, I think the only weakness to this build is the fact that it's... Yeah, and you know, It's you parry to... bait. Is you also have to remember too. I mean, people are like like uh, Prophet Tian said. Uh, you got to prepare for war with ganks. It's gonna be ganks all the time. You better believe in the couple of again. This man, ganks is so laggy. What the? Fuck? Ganks are not fun to fight, so you have to do whatever you can to win that one. So. I bet you're all hunters. <laughs> that's what I. That's what I know. Everybody in this chat, y'all, just a bunch of hunters. This GR. I need um. Dragon, what? Blue. What does this have any weakness besides getting parried? What that? Yeah. Um. 
with the amount of poise you have, uh, you getting greedy is a weakness. I need, I need, uh, Avani, go, go grab, go grab your, your, make a big greatsword version of yourself. I wanna, I need, I wanna see if the... I need to test if the poise talisman is needed on top of the poise flask, or if the poise flask is gonna be enough. Because if the poise flask is enough that I can, I can, <laughs> uh, poise through, like, uh, a two-handed R1 from a colossal, then I'll go for, like, Rotten's Winged Sword Insignia, and I'll dump one extra point in Endurance. Them chugging is another weakness. If they've got enough heals, then the Scarlet Rod doesn't matter all that much. Well, that's why this also has the Bleed and the Frostbite now. And being ganked is... Uh, Arn, Arn has a thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because as fast as this is attacking, if the poise stays, the rotten wing sword insignia could be really fucking disgusting here. Being zoned out is a weakness, because I mean you're using very short thrusting swords. So the large thrusting swords will beat your ass. If the Katana's in a trade, they'll also do that, so that's why you gotta watch out for them. And honestly, the the dual rapier moves that it should. But again, uh, here, hang on. All right, so that that went right through me. All right, try that again. Shit, shit, heal, heal, heal up, heal up, heal up. All right, let me put on the bull's goat. Uh... Aside from having fun in Runarks, is there a point of PvP? Okay. No. There is. Fuck. Ah, shit. I think I need both. It's hard to- it's hard to say. Are there any weapons? Are you using the, uh, the Ramset Talisman, too? Yeah, well, I was seeing if I could get by just using the flask, but I think I need the talisman and the flask to pull off what I'm trying to do here. How do people, though, where's all this, there's all this talk about, like, oh, going over, you know, 100 poise. How the fuck do you get over 100 poise? Like, this is the thickest fucking armor I've found in the whole game. By, like, a know. huge margin. Like, what? Yeah, I don't know, I don't know what they're saying. We're doing that, and we're doing bull goat, and we're doing poise on the, the flask. Like, what? You can mix, like, an iron potion, I think, right? Are you talking, like, a consumable thing? Yeah, I think so. I'm not an expert on the armors yet, so I wouldn't be able to tell you. Try bull goat armor? I haven't yeah, the, found the that. Full, the full bull goat armor is really good, yeah. Dung Eater so has heavy. more. I don't have Dung Eater or the bull goat. The bull goat armor is ridiculous, but it weighs a shit ton. Alright. That might be- I thought you had the bull goat. I didn't no, I never found the bull goat. We going naked? That's a bad idea. Armor from the man. Oh, I didn't finish the manor. I didn't do that part of the manor quest line. Um. Yeah, so I need to do more endurance. I could. I mean, I don't need my decks at seventy-eight with this build. It's I could, it's, cr it's crazy fucking heavy. Uh, let me. I'll turn my gain on. And what about what about dung? What's the dung at? I don't Is, have the dung. Somebody have the dung. Is it more than thirty-three poise on the chest? Uh, he'll drop the dung set for you. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll see. I might, I might not even need it. Bullgood is tied to patches in the manor. I, I never talked to patches. I need to do all that stuff in the walkthrough. Let's play. It kind of just fell apart. Because I was like, I want to kill Riker. Dung is 40 poise. 
Ooh, that would work. I mean, dung does look, you do look like a disgusting piece of shit, which is what this build's supposed to be, so... I'd be fine with that, and I can drop my decks down and pump my endurance a bit more. Yep. That's probably the only character I'd, I'd be a dung boy on. Omen armor. I'm guessing you get this from following dung boy's quest line. I'm guessing. Yeah, I don't think the the helm is needed unless the helm has a unique effect. Uh, uh. Damn, we have forty poise. Oh shit, that's I'm a heavy boy. Yeah, it's it's heavy as shit too. But I'm up to a hundred and nine poise now. Ooh, the fashion looks better. Oh, I look like such a thick fucking like I'm here to touch you. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like, yeah, this looks, this looks, oh man. Barnacle man. Oh, yeah, yeah, now we're... You look like, you look like 16 prolapsed anuses. <laughs> I know, this is, this is what this villain needs to do. Oh, dude, I just poised through fucking Ultra Greatsword. Oh. I you did. I'm a heavy load. I don't even have medium rolls. That's the oh god. This build just got yeah, even. Wow. That build is dumb. What <laughs> this the build fuck? is funny as fuck, dude. There it is. Boys. Now I gotta respec to get a. Gotta have that, that shit weight. Looks so disgusting. It does too. That's the best part. Cause it's like, oh, this thing. What the fuck? Like, like this is gonna invade you, and you're gonna make. What the fuck is that? I feel like you need to like lean into it more and like make your character like fatter somehow, like through the mirror or something. I don't know if I can. You should be able to. I think that you can change. Like, I'm, no, my I mean like my character has my character already has the like maximum of thick uh, boyness. Yeah. Sliders and everything. Yeah, I modeled them after myself. Now. Had to make them thick and juicy. So I need to hit. Fuck. I would need to say I would uh I would need to get up to I think 45 endurance to not fat roll. Let me try 44. Jesus. I mean so the thing is this build I mean, doesn't this build like doesn't need stat requirement. It doesn't need the dexterity soft cap though. I was at 78 and like I'm oh, losing. Yeah, no, you you do not need to be that high. No. Let me see if I'm a fat boy still. Oh no, we're good. Did I have- oh fuck, I forgot I have Erdtree's favor on. Uh... What's- what's the Erdtree's- hang on, damn it, I gotta do math. 10... Oh, uh, 104.2 divided by 96.5 is what? That's an 8% boost, so... Well, and you could probably... You could probably dump Erdtree for, uh... The Great Jar Talisman. And Lower keep, the endurance keep it lower. a little bit more. But I mean, it's just more health and stamina. Because the thing is, I don't really need, like, this build doesn't need anything. I have Vigor at 60. I already have Dex all the way up at 80 almost, like. I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just as a... More arcane for bleed, I don't know. It, it, it's only 1% per point. It's not really worth I, I, it. I, 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 like, I'm just, I'm just saying. 8%. So, 8% increase. Yeah, let me pull up fucking Excel. This is too much to do in a normal calculator. Uh, so we're 66.8. Uh, you cannot rebirth as much as you want. It's an item-based thing. You get about 10 or 12 per playthrough. However, if you have friends who are going through the game for the first time, you can farm for them. That's right. Specifically in, um... Uh, I gotta uh, hit 80. Uh... What's the underground area called? No <clears throat> Nox or whatever. Noxtella. Noxtella. Yeah. If you put a sign down in Noxtella and you have a friend summon you in, there are either three or four of the mimic balls, and each one of those drops a larval tier. I basically need to hit but ninety. Only on the first kill, so. Oh, I'll hit. I'll hit it yeah. right at right at forty endurance. I'll hit it. And then that still gives me seventy-two dexterity. Which is more than enough. That's, that's still a shitload. Of yeah, it's a fuckload of decks. Yeah, I don't. Sure is. Time. <laughs> yeah, because the other one, I mean, it gets it's it's ceased, well making it the. 
C strength, C dex, D arcane. But the other one I just made keen. So the difference is 458 compared to 831. But the bleed, I mean, we're, we're seeing bleed procs consistently. So it's definitely worth having Sapuku on it. And then I have a parry shield. I would honestly just almost lean into fucking double bleed with that shit. It's like, yeah, rot's whatever, but like... Well, rot's if the you're point. just going to be trying to poise through people, you're just trying to burst them down as fast as possible. Rot's, well, rot's the point. If you weren't using the rot, then the whole... You might as well just have two bleed S stocks because they're longer. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. It's, it's, I mean, the rot, the rot is more of a mental thing. And the thing is, we're getting a lot of synergy, because yeah. the mushroom crowd's gonna give us a bonus from rot, and then Lord of Blood yeah. Exaltation is gonna give us a blo uh, thing from bleed. And better, yeah. better people are going to, they're gonna roll straight through, uh, the bleed procs. You know? Right. So, it's, it's more the fact that there's that, and then the Horfrost Stomp. It's th it's the threat of seeing a bunch of different fucking status bars all building up simultaneously, and you're like, whoa, 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 whoa the fuck is this thing doing? Get it away. Difference between poison and scarlet rot. Scarlet rot's is better in every way. <laughs> poison is a status effect that you don't have to worry about. Scarlet rot is a status effect that will eat through all your flasks and still. Yeah, I think I think poison actually only does what six health per tick or something. It's it's. For like 30 seconds. It's yeah, garbage. it's stupid. I was about to do something. I don't remember what it was. Oh, there we go. Shield. I'm not I'm not sure, but I wanna oh hang on. I need I need a spell person to come in. So I think if I change my ice crush shield to be magic infused, that I think carry and retaliation might hit harder. I just need somebody that can use a spell to come in. It doesn't matter who, come use a spell. Anybody that can use a spell. We find someone that looks the ashes. Cin off Cynthia looks scaling. like a caster. Well, see, I thought it scaled off the weapon level, but if I make the like, you know, when I'm infusing the shield, the uh, there's well, I mean, magic Horfrost attack does power. More damage on a fucking heavy greatsword, whatever. Yeah, but this is a parry. Strength. This Here's is a something parry. that I don't know. Here's what I'd like to ask this question: What is this? What does the ring around people's summon signs mean? It means they're part of your group. A group password. All right, just cast. Oh, I haven't. I haven't used those yet. Okay, that's what that means. That's so cool. these are gonna hurt you for three fifteen. Okay, that's like nothing. Okay, so it doesn't scale that way. All right. Well, now, uh, now I'm think... gonna make it magic, and I'm gonna see if we do more than three fifteen to Cynthia. So I think so. Like we, when a shield, when you infuse the shield, you know how it has like. Oh, the shield has attack, like, uh, you know, if yeah, it's yeah, mad, yeah, 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 no, I, I get it. I'm wondering if, if, hey, there's now magic damage on the shield, if it'll pull from that magic damage to hit harder. Dragon, how did you like the hybrid build you showed recently? The hybrid build? The dex the, one? The hybrid caster, I think. Hybrid caster. Does you mean the one uh, that you were showing earlier? Was yeah. Eventually put into Elden Stars and Star oh. Rain or whatever. I mean, it's it's annoying, but it's more of a, a co-op PvP thing than it is like an like an invader. It's also not a good dueling thing. I am curious about. I want to go back to that and see if any of the uh, the items are good. The things like summon wraiths, any of that shit. Or if it's all gonna be too slow to be worthwhile at all. Yeah, there's a group pass. So, group passer is just FCB, and that doesn't limit you to people in the community, but anybody that has it on, anybody that, that has FCB as a group password, they'll have a little ring. You'll see their messages more often, you'll get notifications when people are defeating lords and shit. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah. Hmm, interesting. Well, it's more like, you know, yeah, it's a fun build and it's all casty and stuff, but... You know, if, you, if you're asking, uh, I, my... I, it's not a dueling build, but like if yeah, Tox, if you, like if when we're like, I'll probably fuck around with it tomorrow night. And if we're doing co-op and Tox is going through and somebody invades and I'm just like, spell, 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 the invader is going to be like, fuck this. I'm gone. This sucks. <laughs> this it, sucks. I, it dick. wouldn't be, it wouldn't be fun to deal with if, if they are like a support host that's yeah. there, a support summon. That sucks. Yeah. That would be hard to deal with. It's just gonna, it's just gonna overwhelm you. Well, you know, somebody else is chasing you down with a spear or something. Because, I mean, yeah, Stars of Ruin is annoying, but then you have Stars of Ruin, and you have the Elden Stars, and you have this thing, and you have that, and they're all fucking chases. 
Yeah, my kids. No. Oh shit! Right, that's fucked. Uh, does any? Mm. I should wait for Cynthia to have a, a good one-to-one -one comparison. Just mid fucking cast, and the game disconnected her from the world. I'm telling you. Good net code, lol. That's how it is, man. I don't know when their next maintenance is or whatever. I don't know when they're gonna fix some of this shit. I I really hope they fix the fucking uh, the shield, the Erd tree abuse. Oh, I'm bullshit. sure that stuff yeah. is gonna come. I just I just can't do what I used to do like video wise because it's just it's just constant fucking disconnects. Like, no, yeah, my last two build videos, I just I I basically have the PVP search active while trying to explain shit, and then I just went to to do some duels and I managed to get a couple. Yeah, I would like to do that because that's how my old videos are. That's that's literally how they are. Um, but it's because it's like disconnect. Why, why am I? Do you know, it's it's. I could, I just talked for five to eight minutes for no reason because the first fucking thing is a disconnect, and then you know I'm not gonna upload that. Well, why would I upload that, dude? Yeah, uh, I mean I, I edited the the earlier build videos. I would edit PVP, but I hate fucking editing. Arc Liba is an imp build with spells. Yeah, but I Part already. Of me, I don't. I don't like to. Edit uh, I don't know. I, I already did it with Cynthia, so Cynthia's the baseline. Though I guess the shield damage seems consistently around three fifteen. So the question, the question is really if suddenly I'm doing fucking five hundred damage on a spell parry, or if it's still three fifteen. Yeah, the shield, the shield, and the shodel. That shit needs to get fucking fixed. Because I'd love to, I, I'd love to use that shield for a build, and like I did have it in the strength build. It was kind of just like an alternate, like. I like that shield a lot. It's mm -hmm. Really fucking good. You gotta let the swords hit you. I can't tell if the fucking swords are hurting you if you move out the way. It's also good to use something besides fucking stars of ruin. Jesus Christ. Do you, do you have a basic spell? Do you, have a, do you have a basic spell? Something that's not like 80 fucking things attacking at once? That stars are burning again. <laughs> no, not, not the great so God damn it. It's not what we need! Stop that. Where's Cynthia? Get Cynthia back in here. This guy Jesus has a Christ. way different defense. More walkthroughs. Pay me. All walkthroughs are now behind a paywall. Moto Pro, you're a little jackass. Hundred dollars a month. Starting. Straight up, straight up, a little jackass. We're allowed to do what we want to do when we want to do it. We can play the game just like regular people and enjoy the stuff just like regular people. You are entitled to fucking nothing, at all. Stop being a fucking selfish prick. Stop it. I'll literally pay you literally one million dollars. You don't get to ruin our experience because you can't figure out the game on your own. Damn, it's still 315. That sucks. I wish it was way there was a way to get it stronger. All right, Cynthia, let's try and have a real fight. I'll, I'll, I don't, I don't have a lot of faith for your build. Nothing against you. This is just the Seath Water Stabber. Oh, Magicus, yes, I'm totally gonna let you stand in there. No, 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 that's not good. That's not gonna fucking work. Jesus. Man, that build is. Yeah, hey, nice one. Dragon, uh, your video's going live spicy. when? Huh? When is your thing going up? Tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, because I should get this up sooner rather than later. Who's this? Yeah, you're Bull welcome. Gross. Man. It's good. You're welcome. Literally just like fucking disease man. As long as you give me credit, put up whatever the fuck you want to. I don't care. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna even, I'm gonna do more than that. I'm gonna link your video in the description. Ooh! And, and I'm gonna pin a comment going to your channel. Oh my god. Oh. Fucking look at all that exposure.
Oh, I can't believe I love exposure. It pays all my bills. <laughs> mm, my favorite. I love it, dude. I live and die by the exposure. Oh, Moonville got me, but Horfrost got you. What's a good? Oh, I don't. I don't like the pink eye name. I might go with Seathwater Stabber for mine. I'm Fuck, then do, then do it. But in the description, I want you to call my build the Double Barrel Pink Eye. Well, That's hang on. Let me, let me look at the omen armor worn by the Dung Eater. Malformed armor <laughs> resembling an omen with its horns cut off. Heart of the omen without the body to match. Could there be any cooler existence? Name him like the Fungal Fun Boy or something like that. Well, well, the the, more the like character's it. name is technically the fungus among us, but <laughs> yeah, I but think it's, someone it's, else. It's gone. It's gone between. It's gone beyond fungus. We're now Barnacle Boy. Yeah, you get the prolapses all over you. Yeah, it's. I mean, it is a nasty looking build. Like if this invaded me, I would be like, "What the fuck is this?" I would just be upset. I would be upset. Just it looks like he, he looks like he's. I don't know, me, me and Zaki was like watching 40k and he was like... Kind of like those Nurgle guys. That looks fun. Cause he, cause that straight up looks like Playtime. Looking like with the shoulder pad and everything. It, 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 he looks like a Playtime. Other than those doof, doofy ass helmet. What is that one? It's one of the Scythe ones. Oh That's shit! Fun. It's that delayed, that that extra swing. Oh wait, is that the Deathbird Scythe? Oh, we were talking about farming that. Does that have I different scaling? That. that looks so cool. We were talking about getting that. Uh, and we were running by. We were like, "That's way cooler than the normal scythe." Yeah, because oh we hey, saw one of a, that's we saw isn't one that what dude was thing. dual wheeling when I parried him? Isn't that that one? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Uh, uh, hold on. I let me look at the video. video. Yeah, go look at the video. That was—I'm pretty sure that was the ones. Those are the, the ones. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, dude. Have those. Handle. Yeah, it is. It is. That's the mm -hmm. ones. He had that motherfucker had two of them. <laughs> Let's see if there's right. anybody. Where the fuck do you get the scythe? And then where do you get the uh, the weapon art? Right. Where do you get two of them? Shit. Well, the scythe is yeah. just—you got to farm the enemies for it, I think. Yeah, that would make sense. Mm -hmm. Bro, do you weapon even sleep? Yeah, I took a nap from... after the last stream, man. It wasn't a long nap. Saber in Dark Souls 3? Okay, that doesn't help. Jacob, you have no sense. You are a perfect cowboy fan. What do you- what was that? I was bouncing off of you. I love that. I don't know what buff that is. Is that the, uh, the... Like, stability thing? No, he had- he had some kind of incantation, but I was bouncing. Yeah. That might have been- you remember when we were in the capital? Dragon Ball oh, Blessing? Dragon Ball Blessing. What? I don't think that gives you like poise. Hang on. I have that that incantation. I didn't think it gave you poise. I'm just making him like literally just fucking bounce off with stab weapons. Yeah. That might just be what it is. That's pretty good. I like that. Only like to bolster the body. Faith. Attacks attacks become easier to deflect, and resistance to all ailments is increased. However, uh, lightning oh, damage is reduced. And then there's the other one, the Vikes Dragon Bolt. That's what you were using. Yeah, um, but it doesn't do the fucking Caster body shit. and their weapon, arm them with lightning. Okay, so that one, so red, I thought it was just an upgrade, but red in particular is red lightning and equip load. Well, the other one is ailments. So Dragon Bolt's Blessing, that's probably like one of the old, that's a, that's a good counter to this. Because you're resistant to all ailments, and attacks become easier to deflect, so people are bouncing. There's a lot, there's a lot of counters to this, but... Yeah. Well, I mean, that's like, I, when I, I'm, I'm saying like, counter counters, and like, that spell is made to counter a pokey fucking stab boy build. Yeah, that's kind of nutty, actually. 21 I might faith. start running that, just for like... 
dealing uh, with katana. I would need place. I would need to drop seven points out of decks, and I could run that myself. I don't think I need people to bounce off of me though. No, you can just poise through it. I think yeah. you just kind of have to hope that no one is running that. Yeah. Which I think most people are gonna run that. Wow, thank you. What? I'm gonna go to bed. It's whatever that, whatever that was. <laughs> so I think most people aren't gonna run that. I'm probably gonna go to bed soon. This has been some good testing, though. I want actually. I want to pull out my caster guy one more time and just try the Jesus items out. Fucking Christ! What? Look at all those signs. What time it is? What time is it? It's almost three. I didn't realize it was this late. I do gotta pass Maybe. out. We're going to, to a dinosaur expo with the baby in the morning. Oh, that'll be fun. Yeah, he loves his fucking dinosaurs. Oh, that kid's got taste. Good for him. Dinosaurs are way cooler than the spacemen are cats. They're way cooler than that. Good for him. Alright, lads. I'll see you later. See you. Stop running and fucking fight me. This is running and casting and fucking dashing. Uh oh, uh, we got the rot. Someone's been rotted. Uh oh. Uh oh, this is what happens to runners. Uh oh. Spellblade? No. This is something this is definitely, this is definitely much darker. Oh, I'm not the old man. Edgy ass shit. I see it. That's because I like to see variety. Are there any signs I don't Let's see? Radivimum. That's actually, actually, I don't think I fought a Radivim yet. It's a mage, though. I don't think it's gonna be very pretty for him. I fought Cynthia. I fought Ark. I don't think I've done Radivum. Is this a Rot Poison Mushroom build? This is a Rot Bleed. Disgusting Poise Monster. <laughs> Oh my god, I just thought, Dragon, what happens if this turns into, like, the Dark Souls 2 overpower build and goes everywhere? Well, it would be fitting. Should I call it that? Elden Ring overpower PvP. <laughs> <laughs> only if you... <laughs> only if you... Every, 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 every person you kill, you're like, Sit down, kid! <laughs> Sit, Sit down! Sit down, I'm the... Dude, you're on the fucking best! Dude, you... It makes I'm sure the you best. attack them when they're spawning in, dude. You're in death range. Yeah, I can't possibly lose. Look at these fucking idiots. Yeah, look at my poise, moron. What are you gonna do? You don't heal in a duel. What is wrong with you? Ugh. Now I'm gonna heal in a duel. And now I'm gonna poke you with my poke. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Yeah, you like that? You like my mushroom, man? Oh, hang on. Let's hit him with the... Yo, beautiful. Oh, yeah, that's what I get. That's what you get. <laughs> Dark Souls 2 Tournament of Blood takes me back. Oh my god. <laughs> this looks so fucking gross. I love this. Oh god. The Pandemic COVID build? How to get your, your new cool build video demonetized 101. No kidding. So toxic, yeah, it is. It is any wonder that it is inspired by me. <laughs> now imagine doing most of this at level nine. Imagine that. That's my build. Those are kind my build. We've got some fire salamander shit. I haven't seen those before. My, and I and I parry people too. Probably like these. I parry people. Hilarious. Woo! Shit! Those hurt. What the fuck are those? I want them! 
Man, he has so many cool weapons I've never even fucking seen before. Those are literal magma swords. Damn, he got he got you with Have that. Have you ever seen those? Yeah, I've seen those. I've never seen those. That was fucking nasty. What are those? I want to do a build with them. <laughs> what are those? <laughs> those are fucking cool. Oh, a new, hey, new build incoming. The <laughs> hot water stabber. <laughs> Drops from the snakes? The, I've killed lots of snakes! They never dropped me that! What the fuck? I think Cowboy, it's Bobby wants a PvP. It's, it's Bobby? Wait, what? What Bobby? Shiro Project says, hey, Cowboy. I know, but that's not Bobby. I don't think that's Bobby. Certain snakes. What are the, what are they called? Are they daggers? They look like daggers, but they had a really unique weapon arm for sure. They were curved swords. It looked like the curved swords. Are they? I'm pretty sure they're, I'm pretty sure they're curved swords. Yeah. No, yeah, they are. Those are fucking cool. Use the rot breath spell for BM when you win. Nah, the best BM is chugging all of your flasks on top of the body of the host. That is a pretty good BM. Kyle the Gecko in Volcano Manor Drops? I don't think I ever fought somebody named Kyle the Gecko. Kyle the Gecko? <laughs> you gonna save me 15% on my runes <laughs> insurance? Like what? what? Kyle the Gecko. Yeah, dude, he does a lot of prong damage. What Damn, dude. Talking? That fucking build up on that is disgusting. Oh yeah, it's sick. I like the the scythe move sets in this game. It's very good. He's like, if it, if the mad tongue did it to me, I'm gonna do it to ah! you. <laughs> yeah. Damn. That weapon art's fucking scary on certain weapons because it comes out really fast. It comes out fast enough that even if I'm poising through it, it's just getting me killed. I'm taking too much damage from it. So here's here's yeah here's the deal. So. You're using something right now that you want to use a lot of poise. This is an advice. This is advice for everybody, not just cowboy. When you have a lot of poise, you guys get a lot of like tunnel vision. Don't get tunnel vision while you have poise. You have to respect the distance and damage of the other people that you are fighting. You have to do it. Because yeah. if you don't, you're going to get something like that that will happen to you just there. And then surprise, you're not trading damage. You're just taking it. Yeah. So... Well, I mean, you are trading. It's just, it's a, not a good trade. You're, you're no. taking, you're taking. He, no, he uh, caught, he caught you, he caught you rolling. He caught you trying to get away from his thing. And well, it's weird. The the delay on that second hit, it comes out and catches you like mid roll. Yeah, it's, he timed it very well. He's, he's 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 doing a very good job. And you don't you don't see that a lot. I haven't. I mean, that's he's the first person I've seen actually using that that art. Pretty good art. Yeah, it is. Where's where's that? Have you thought about a build based around black flames? Yeah, it's called the garbage can. Yeah, it's terrible. You get black this cool- you, you, you buff before the fight and then it runs off while you're still in the bowing animation. Super fucking useful. Alright. He has been consistently pulling out different weapons to use. I wonder what level is that build, if I- I feel like you're using- uh, I've seen the butt smashes. Oh, he got it. He got the good one. The holy ass. <laughs> you dropped that holy thing. <laughs> God damn. So much don't, damage on that thing. Don't don't forget everybody. You have a jumping attack. And also, you can dodge things by jumping. Ooh, Horfrost finished it for me. Frost Stomp is another example of something you can jump over. So I saw a farming tool. Clearly you don't watch enough anime. I need to look up this this thing. This sword. Let me see. Air of Swords, Elden Ring. Cause I, I wanna I haven't I haven't started my Xbox build because I put all my fucking time into this. And I think I wanna do a dual wheel build there. It's called the Magma Blade. You'll probably get some sick clips on Xbox because those players are brain dead. No, it's just going to be something I play for fun. 
Curved sword, an armament of man serpents, impossible for humans to have made. Uh, 9, 15, 16, magma shower, 12 FP. The PvP <coughs> is not cross platform, no. Dropped by lizard men wielding the magma blade at Volcano Manor. So I just gotta farm them, fuckers. Does it have. Do wield blood fang? No, don't do wield blood fang. Do wheel do wheel blood fang is not good. And also, blood fang is going to be out of style very soon. If you really want to do wield the giant things, use blood fang and then use Xamar curve sword so that you're getting frostbite and bleed. Like a true sweat. Blood, blood fang is being used right now because it's easy to get and it has a lot of scaling. Oh, it's a fantastic all, PvE weapon. All, all of its gimmicks are learned by every player now. And it's not going to be yeah, I wouldn't use it for duels, but I would definitely use it. All right, seriously. It's also very easy to set up, Harry. I'm sorry for what I'm about to do. Faith. No, not the blood flame. Are you fat rolling? Get back here. He is fat rolling. Get, you little fat roller, get over here. Fat rolling is dead. Uh, now, now, he's, fat now he's not. He's, he's normal rolling. He had something on that he wasn't supposed to have on. I haven't seen someone unalive so fast with this bleed. Uh, I could I could show you a bleed build. The stabber. Wait, let me pull out my bleed build. Uh, status. Builds. Yeah, status builds done and ready to go. I already have the Faith 2.0 build uploaded. Um. Was this made? 5.43 p.m. You won your only first PvP invader with Bloodfang? Well, most invaders aren't very good, but it'll come, there will be, there, there will be a time. There will be a time. But hey, you could probably use the Bloodfang, you probably use your bare ass fists on hunters, because they're terrible. You guys wanna, you guys want some Sick clips, fight hunters. That's that's the uh that's how that's how you get that that good shit on them. Cause they are garbage. Mm -hmm. You know how many times, cowboy, I have had hunters come in to like like take me no, out. No, no. I've thought about Vare's weapon build. I don't even know what Vare's weapon is, to be honest. I don't think I've... I don't think I uh, fought Vare's weapon, whatever it was. Hunters are actually never good. No, they're not. Hunters are terrible. I don't think I... I've never played a Souls game where Hunters are good. Or Blues. Blues are just... Blues are... Blues are just... 100% the most brain-deaded players I've ever seen in my life. Oh, I have shit weapon arts on these. That's okay. Bat rolling. That's gonna cost you. Can you survive this, fat roll boy? Death and ruin! The answer was no. No, he could not survive it. Yeah, that's the god skin for you. Yeah, baby. What are the, what are the, what are the requirements for those? 
They're pretty low. It scales better with decks than some of the other stiff. Yeah, but what is it? Oh, hang on one second. I need to make this uh, Sampuku just to give me even more bleed. And then my main hand one. I think I'm gonna do Bloody Slash because <laughs> fuck not. Uh, your requirements are 17 strength, 22 dex. Nah. Alright. What the fuck? What was that? That's called death. It's the flowers you can get by invading berry. Flowers. Bleed. The jumping attack is an instant bleed with this. Yep. Yeah. The jumping on one. Unpunishable. Bleed, bleed, bleed. Bleed, bleed, bleed. I am bleed man. I come fast. When I come, it's in your ass. I will make you bleed today. Bleed, bleed, bleed. I could upload this build, but I'm waiting until they fix arcane scaling because I don't want to upload it and then they fix arcane scaling and I'm like, well, now all the new stuff works. Bleed is burst, rot is damage over time. Twin blade jumping attack is pretty fucking broken. Yes, it is. I mean, honestly, double twin blades is one of the more enjoyable uh, dual move sets in my experience. No, I'm impressed with the twin blade move set these days. I'm certainly working on doing some of those at some point. This is what a real build looks like. Real blisses blood. Are you ending for the night going for it here? Um, I'm gonna murder Syrupy and then probably... Well, I, I do want to try the items out on that thing, but that's just gonna be like a brief test. I could do that with you if you want. What do just, you mean? So there's certain items you can use that'll do little wraiths and shit to chase you. I'm curious if any of them are, are worth using or if they're all just trash. Uh, you ready, Syrupy? You ready, baby? Because here it comes. Uh-oh, not that. Not the carry-on. No, he left Twitch a long time ago. How will I ever stop that? Ah! Ah! That spell? Syrupy dies in three, two, one. Woo! Here it comes! Nyeom! 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 Oh, the third hit gets him every time. Woo! Dragon Ball! I love that fucking spell. Yeah, I, I think it wouldn't be appropriate for me to... You wanna, you wanna fight this? Or are we fighting Walmart. stabber to stabber? I'd have to summon you... ...to do that. An I win button? Uh, it usually is. There, there, I've seen... I've seen very few people survive Placidus Axe when it comes out. A lot of people, they just, they don't know how to deal with it. Because they see it and they're like, what the fuck is that? And by that point, it's over. We don't need to... 
go crazy, but you, no, you want to test that shit out, see if it hits me or not, or whatever it was. Yeah, I'll switch in a second. That's what you want me to do. I don't even think I need to have this enchanted. I'm pretty sure just the, the normal attack will make you bleed. Ooh, what the fuck? What happened there? Man, how did I how did I get blood loss? Why did his greatsword deal blood loss on me? That doesn't make any sense. Why does how did his greatsword instant bleed me? I'm I'm super confused what's happening here. That's that is pretty intense. That doesn't wait, what what just happened? Why did the greatsword instant bleed? Cause even with bleed buildup, a greatsword shouldn't be able to instant bleed. Maybe like 80 blood or something? Like, cause the twin blade, colossal weapons get like a hundred plus bleed. Yeah, but still, it shouldn't even, that shouldn't even come close. Like, see with these, we're looking at, we're, we're I'm at 132 blood loss on both, and I'm fucking jumping, and this attack is, or that the jumping attack, that's one, two, three, four. It's four hits coming down. A greatsword is still one hit no matter how you slice it. Is that really instant bleeding? Just hit me with it normal. Give me a bonk. Is this, that's four hits, so it makes sense. Hit me with the sword. Damn. Jesus, it is. That's fucking... Jesus. Power. Yeah. That greatsword's doing... I mean, one hit from that is doing 60% of the bleed bar. Yep. Jeez. Dude, player damage in this game is outrageous. I mean, it's just... It's nuts. That's pretty scary, because that's two two greatsword hits and you're dead. Because it'll... Yep. The bleed proc... And you're probably going to be staggered during the second hit, so that you're not rolling out of the bleed. It's easy to avoid. I mean, it is easy to avoid. It's still, it's just, it's very surprising but that... in the hands of a skilled player and also bloodstepping, that's... Well, you couldn't, I don't think, you can't bloodstep if you have bleed on it, I don't think. Didn't, didn't he? I saw him... Did he? I saw him do it. He might switch, yeah, he might be, he might be switching to a dagger or something. I, I might have missed it. I wasn't paying all that much attention. Yeah, let's see what happens when I do this. Vance has had some crazy shit tonight. Can he survive the craziest? He dodged the explosion. Oh, he dodged the first one. He dodged the second one. Oh, but the third one comes out. It's always the third one. Ow. Ow. Oh my god, he got me. Classy still got him, but it didn't do enough. The greatsword does have that roll and poke. That's pretty... Roll that's, catching, that, dude. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty annoying. He did it. He got you with the roll catch, man. Hey, man, my Plassy still hit on that third, and that's all I care about is that my Plassy. All right, that's enough of this. Let me go to let me go to the uh, the dude. We'll test this out real fast. I'll summon you. Uh, hybrid man. What was your password? They're PvP, too. I mean, I can. I, well, wait, who are you going on? I was just gonna pick you up at the level nine. Did it matter? I mean, which one? Go on, go on, go on your your higher level guy, because I want to just try. I mean, these are items. I don't think they're gonna hurt, but I'd rather see what they're doing with with me hitting yeah. them versus because scaling damage. It's so weird to fucking tell. Right. And there's a couple of these, and I think they're mostly fucking useless, but... You know, with a spell like this that's all about bullshit. I, lo I love this character, because it's the only character I have that's, like... ...high level, but none of his stuff is upgraded. Not a, not a single bit of it is upgraded. <laughs> Dropping souls, everybody. Um... I'm always putting what down. Uh, just drop your sign, um... Alright. Just drop it, like, north. North of the thing. North? Oh, alright. 
North it is. Is the Ice Witch build solid for duels? I mean, most sorcery builds are gonna... People are just gonna rush you and you're not gonna have time to get off casts. Gotcha. For a second, I was like, I'm, yeah, it's definitely time to go to bed. I was like, who the fuck's Funko Pop? And I was like, oh, wait, that's Dragon. Mm, yeah, that's the, that's, this is the tester build that doesn't have anything upgraded. So I think these, I have a couple of them. I'm just going to run through them. They all use FP. First one's Wraith Calling Bell. All right, just, am I standing still or what's the deal? Yeah, what does it do? Nothing. Just, <laughs> that's it, just 77 damage. Just, oh, yeah, that was crap. I like I can multiple ring it. Alright, so that's just a fucking complete waste. It's garbage. This is Ancestral Infant's Head. I've no seen that one, annoying, and it was... useless. Yeah. I, yeah. I've seen that one, and it was about as effective as that was. Alright. Omen Baron. Is, are any of these doing like death build up or anything? No, nothing. Regal Omen Bear. That one hurt. 780. But I think that chunked. I think that used a lot of fucking. Let's see. I don't have any healing after this. That fucker used 50. 50 FP. Fifty FP and um, what is my what are my spells? Hang on. Hang on. This hurts. This hurts more. I think. So that did four fifty and cost half of it. And it tracked better. Yeah, this seems like it wouldn't. All right, I'm gonna do one. Just, just dodge around, or just run. See, see if it, see what the the, uh, see what the chase on this is. If it's like any good, or if it's just pretty decent. It, yeah. it increases, it increases in speed. Like the more, the more they fly, the faster they go. I don't know how that what their max range is though. I couldn't, I couldn't heal anymore. So. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like at a fifty. So let me, let me, let me look at spells for. For 50 FP, that's the same cost as fucking Stars of Ruin or Loretta's Mastery. So it needs to do more damage than one of those. I need a thick boy to come into chat. Avane, I need you to tank, take damage to the face and let me know. We're going to test three things that cost the same FP and see if Regal Omen Baron is worth it or not. All right, Loretta's Mastery. This is 50 FP. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't think he dodged. Let me move farther away. So 568. It has the advantage of being max range tracking. That's not good. Four sixty-two. Uh, Lana, just try and dodge. Just dodge this shit around. Like, come and like you're just running away from it. Like somebody's like, I'm death things, death explosion man. Shit consuming, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna be worth it. Yeah. And now. Do you have any more healing? I guess he doesn't.
dun 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 Yeah, I think our spell I think our spell loadout's fine for a hybrid caster. I think I might just take the shield off and just swap between the two things, because like this isn't you're not supposed to get in fucking melee range with this. I mean I have I have ten fucking endurance. I, I have enough to swing my sword if I absolutely have to, that's it. Yeah, it's, a, it's for non-mages, I guess. Yeah, it's a spell for non-mages. But the thing is, if you're a non-mage, <laughs> that's your whole fucking FP bar. I'd rather do, like, eight Horfrost stomps. Right. I agree. You get a rune arc if you, if you kill him in an invasion. You get a... Fucking... Finger, finger remedy if you beat him in a duel. whoop de fucking boop. <sighs> Yeah, I think your hybrids are a pretty good spot. The poker man sure is fucking a good spot. Let me look see look at my builds. Let me see. Let's see if I haven't uploaded anything. Arcane went up, except the updated arcane has it. Dex has been uploaded. Faith goes live tomorrow. Quality build I put up, sorcery I put up, strength I put up. So I gotta record the hybrid man and the actually let me update this stream. The spell sword never happened. Hybrid caster and um Mystery build tests. We'll call it the mystery build for now. Can I battle you? I'm running a glintstone swordsman. I'm gonna go to bed. I'll tell you what. You put down your sign right now. You put down your sign. I'll do one more duel before bed. Just because I like the name Chaos Lobster. The password is PvP2. And what's your name in game? This bleed on great swords good for it. Apparently, you're doing a fuckload of bleed damage. How does that, how well does that work in PvE? Like, is that, like, what was that? Are you, like, is Arcane leveled up? And the Greatsword's infused with bleed? Like, how is that working? Because you're doing a fuckload of bleed damage. We're at a Gill Lake North. Uh, Platinum, we're pretty sure it doesn't. Okay, hey, uh, rune farm for the dragon. No, you have to kill the dragon. The dragon is literally needed to get your platinum trophy. Oh, there you go. Where at? Right, right here, man, dude. So clocks are ticking. Clock is slowly, ticking. Slowly falling asleep. Can you hear him? Hey, in the meantime, you want to see that video I was talking about? Sure. I'll PM it to you. I won't post it in chat. Look at that. Is this, is this your... Yeah, look at that, look at that. That's 30 seconds. Just, I thought it was fun. I thought it was good. Double sights. You just spamming jump attacks and getting poked. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> you like that? I like your little ill sing song there. Yeah, you like that? You like the, the fucking <laughs> turn around set up parry? A gill <laughs> a gill lake north grace. Come on, man. What else in the game looks like this? It's fucking Limgrave. Come on, man. We're waiting on you. Password is PvP2. See, I knew it was gonna- I knew the moment when I, when I heard, can I battle you, I was like, here it is. I knew it was coming. Uh, cowboy take a shot? I'm going to bed. Why would I be taking shots? What is wrong with you? Do I look like Ron? Hope not. <laughs> Sekiro, best FromSoft game by far. Fight me. Uh, clearly, you've never fucking heard of Armor Core. Yeah, this guy's taking too long. Dragon, do you want to fight this build? And then I'll just go to bed. No, I turned the game off. I 
times that's why I turned it off, man. What do you, what do you want? It's too late. It's just too late, man. Let's pick up somebody's sign, anybody. There's no other signs. Everyone else went to bed, so you're wrapping up. Well. You can go ahead. My game crashed all fast traveling. Well. Fucking Ripper fucking, Rooney. Fucking I'll, I'll see if I can get it. Get an invasion. <laughs> yeah, hit, hit, hit up an invasion. Let's see what Mr. Super Spam does in, in invasion. I should get that thing that ring that lets me, um... Let's me be stealthed while crouched. And just doesn't, it doesn't work very well. Oh. Uh, no invasions here. It's probably too late to find a good invasion. Yeah, maybe. I wonder if the bloody finger has a, lo a bigger net than the recusants. Because I think they're the same thing. Pretty sure they're the same thing. Same thing, well, different name. But dragon stones in two were not the same. Dragon eyes in two had a bigger net than the uh, red soap sign did. So. Yeah, but neither of those were. Dragons are dueling. This is an invasion finger. Yeah, I get that. I'm just telling you. I think the nets could be different. We don't know. It could. It could. That's why I was just asking. Because we don't know. We don't know any of the nets. I wish I knew the nets. Oh, cute. That was quick. Oh, well, this is fucking a waste of time. Yeah, Ugh, I'm so fucking sick of this shit, dude. I'm telling you. These people are, it's that literally fucking, it's a clown brigade, dude. You could, you can make a level nine just like me. You never see it. <laughs> Actually, you do. That's a lie. I've seen, I've seen summons do it. I have seen summons do it. You know what? I got nothing to lose. Fuck it. Let's kill this moron. Hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and kill him, why not? Oh my god, he's summoning another cooperator? You're already... You already have the fucking cheaty shield and now you're summoning somebody? What a fucking clown. I'm out, dude. I'm out. Fuck this guy. What an idiot. What an idiot. Little bitch boy. I got a rule. Somebody, if somebody fucking summons my ass. Oh my oh, god, they're, look, they're his friend came too. in and did it too. <laughs> they're doing you it too. fucking clowns. I bet you do. These are the kind of people that they fucking. <laughs> they jerk off into their own mouth. Oh my god. They're like, oh, I'm so fucking cool. Oh. I'm so cool, I'll suck my own dick. Mm, no one else can suck it the way I suck it. Mm, mm, mm. Fuck. That was a, that oh was a great God. pegging. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. How disgusting. Is it an exploit? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes, it is. It's an exploit. It's an exploit for <laughs> micro dicks that don't know. I honestly, I can't fucking wait because that's gonna get patched, and all of these little fuck boys are gonna suddenly be like, "What do I? What do I do?" Yeah, they're not gonna know how to play. They're not. And that's the thing. Like people relying on that shit. Like you're you're setting yourself up to get fucked. You're literally gonna get bent over. Yeah. I'm at a Gill Lake North, and your sign ain't here. Lobster, you gotta hurry up, man. What's going on? Did you put the password on? Killing me, Lobster. You're killing me. Yeah, we have, Chris. We absolutely yeah, have. Yeah, lots of shoulder thing. Lots of, of, uh... You know what? I could probably make a video with, like, a fake From Software tweet in Japanese and be like, Well, sucks to be you, pussy boys. Turns out From Software announced anybody they see using that glitch is actually getting banned from online play, so... No, I don't think that... You don't think it would work? No, I don't think that would work. I mean, I feel like the people that are doing it are pretty much just cucks anyway. I don't, I don't think that's gonna work. Hmm. 
I think that would be pretty shit. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think. You got PvP too? No, lowercase PvP. I don't know if it matters, but... You think those guys can reach their members with their mouths? Highly doubtful. I mean, it... I'm not saying, I'm not saying, point. I'm not saying the dick is fitting into the mouth. I'm saying that they're, they're laying in bed and they're, they're like kind of curled up like an armadillo. And when they finish jerking off, they're just shooting it right into their own mouth. Or maybe they're just doing it to each other. I don't know. Either way, they're fucking idiots. And they're going to be gone from this game in like a month because they don't know how the fuck to play. Damn, he shot you face. He did. <laughs> then he got L. Now, oh, stop that. Die. There we go. Chase spell spam man. <laughs> Takes his final victim of the night. What's the name of that glitch? Uh, the enjoy your flavor of your own cum glitch? I don't know, it doesn't have a name. Mmm, <laughs> tasty. What a good, what a unique flavor. Yeah, I think I think we've peaked. You want to end this thing? Yeah, that's right. <laughs>